Hello students, welcome back. Today we are going to do exercise uh, like 5.1. Fine. Uh, in the like previous video, we have uh, 5.1 or interaction sheet where uh, I think like you got a clear idea about uh, what is the concept behind like continuity. But continuity is not so hard here. Uh, all students in one letter, continuity, sir, like continuity is very tough, like continuity, I cannot follow it. But the main problem what I found is that um, students in a concept are there. Concept, if they get it right, then it's very easy, man. It's very, very easy. If, um, uh, video, if uh, those who have not seen that video, I would recommend you to go and watch that video and get a concept of like uh, what is continuity. Continuity and down on the check here. Okay, if I'm, um, just an introduction of what we have done. Uh, if you have a curve, curve without lifting the pen, then that is continuous. We can check whether it is continuous or not. In this way, in this case, like we can clearly know that it is continuous. point curve and that point in a random your left side and the right side of that particular point, you can check that it's gonna be the same value. Now, just chalapam chaloir vijayi kim. Sir, idin the totta parth gadakkan the value no chingal korchu mana kaanu bo korchu pongi alle iri kine. Apo where or value alle no vijayi kim. Which it is not there. When you take your left hand limit and your right hand limit, you are taking very minute. Like say for example, idin pa two ano na cholo e point. Okay, and this axis, like okay, this is uh, this is uh, this is point two, uh, uh, render. Apo, na idhar ko chung do no oru chari oru valiya version le jan varchal. Ipam idha ano two angle, I will take. Namli pa left hand limit no kumbo, I will take a point very near to this two onto the left side. Na jan dinan ochi na le, namak neerte na neerte concept pi parano. Namal left hand limit should be equal to right hand limit and must be and the value must be equal to or the function must be having the same value equal to these two limits here and then this moon and non equal are now matra may we can say that the function is continuous so when you take your left hand limit you at least like left hand limit on the full light at a committee below so you must need to consider a point very close to this two so this might be like a, a 1.99999 something which is less than two right but very close to two if we right hand limited, we will point, we will take a point from here, which is like two point, like uh, two point, very very close to it, two point uh, zero 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 one or something like that, which is very close to two, but it is not two. Okay, on to the left side also like one point nine 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 something, which is close to two, but it is not close to two. Then we will check this point whether it, the function is continuous. We will check this point whether the function is continuous and on this point here and on to this point too. We will check that the function is continuous. I don't know, we check him, but we will we will prove that or we will get it as continuous when all these three are giving me the same value. Fine. So this was the concept of your limit so far here, and with that concept, we will move on to our first question. Okay, now we exercise 5.1 now on to the first question. Prove that the function f of x is equal to 5x minus 3. So f of x is what? f of x is equal to 5x minus 3 is continuous. 5x minus 3 continuous. I am going to check here. At what are points? At x is equal to 0, x is equal to minus 3, at x is equal to minus 5. I am going to check here. Okay. Now, we have basic concept in the basic concept. And if we in these three, if we are getting the same value, then it is continuous. So, but this is to prove that it is continuous. So it must be continuous and it will be continuous. And the function is what? 5x minus 3. And the 5x minus 3. Can I write this 5x minus 3 as y is equal to 5x minus 3? Yeah, because this is f of x is y itself. 
അല്ലെങ്കിൽ വൈൽ വന്ന് ടച്ച് ചെയ്യുന്ന പോയിന്റ് ആണ് ദിസ് വൺ സോ ഇഫ് ഐ ഡ്രോ ദിസ് ലൈൻ ഓർ ഇഫ് ഐ ഡ്രോ ദിസ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ബിയർ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ പോയിന്റ് വെയർ ഇറ്റ് പാസസ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് പോയിന്റ് ഇസ് യുവർ മൈനസ് ത്രീ ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ഹൗ ഹൗ ദ ലൈൻ ലുക്സ് ലൈക്ക് ഫൈൻ വിത്ത് ദ സ്ലോപ്പ് ദസ് ആൻഡ് ദസ് ഗോഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഐ ഹോപ്പ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ക്ലിയർ നൗ സോ ആസ് ഐ ഹാവ് ടോൾഡ് യു ദിസ് ദ പോളിനോമിയൽ polynomial everywhere it is continuous so but this is not just we write it as it a polynomial it is continuous there but we need to check it the other way what we have learned all right let's do this one apo at ed point la nammal check cheyene at zero illa at zero illa nammal check cheyan vendi povana you are limits now limit x tending to what സീറോ മൈനസ് ആൻഡ് ഐ ഹാവ് ടോൾഡ് യു ദാറ്റ് നമ്മളിപ്പോ ഒരു ഒരു പോയിന്റ് സീറോ എടുക്കുകയാണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഇഫ് ഐ എം ജസ്റ്റ് ടേക്കിംഗ് പോയിന്റ് സീറോ എടുക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ പോയിന്റ് ലെഫ്റ്റ് സൈഡിലും നോക്കണം റൈറ്റ് സൈഡിലും ചെക്ക് ചെയ്യണം വാട്ട് വാട്ട് ദ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഇസ് ഗിവിംഗ് എസ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ എന്താണ് നമുക്ക് തരുന്ന വാല്യൂ എന്ന് നമ്മൾ ഒന്ന് ചെക്ക് ചെയ്യണം അതുകൊണ്ട് അവിടെ സീറോ മൈനസ് ബിക്കോസ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ഓൾ വാട്ട് ഐ എം ട്രൈ ടു ചെക്ക് ഇസ് യുവർ എൽ എച്ച് എൽ ഓക്കെ യുവർ ലെഫ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ലിമിറ്റ് ഇസ് വാട്ട് ആർ വാട്ട് ചെക്ക് യുവർ ലിമിറ്റ് എക്സ്റ്റെൻഡിങ് ടു സീറോ മൈനസ് f of x and the second step already you have learned it in your 11th and i have told you just before that i need to take a point just before the zero so something minus something 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 very near to your zero so that one h i am keeping it and while h tending to zero our would value is becoming zero that means it's coming close to zero അപ്പൊ എച്ച് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് ലെഫ്റ്റ് സൈഡിൽ ഒരു പോയിന്റ് എടുത്തു ആ ലെഫ്റ്റ് സൈഡിൽ സീറോ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ആ എച്ച് സീറോയിലോട്ട് പൊറത്തോണ്ടിരിക്കണം അപ്പൊ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് കമ്മിങ് ക്ലോസ് ടു സീറോ അപ്പൊ അങ്ങനെയാണെങ്കിൽ yes zero minus h and if you cannot follow this is what the step is there you need to just do along with this okay now that is equal to limit h tending to zero njan ivada x ayirunu appo njan ee function da ivada ee or whole thing substitute cheyan vendi povana and what i will be getting is 5 into zero minus h zero minus h and minus 3 and you went when you multiply inside and when you apply the limit like okay or step konde edam idin h h is tending to 0 then 0 into 5 into 0 is 0 itself and this one gives me minus 5 h minus 3 and when you apply the limit h is going to be 0 and what you are getting here is minus 3 correct minus 3 now this is your lhl okay and here we are going to when do your arch and which i need to write limit extending to zero plus this time because it is from the right side and then we can write down limit h tending to zero h is tending to zero and this will become zero on our point zero in the right side so plus h so when i substitute this value limit h tending to 0 this one on in the place of x 5 into 0 plus h minus 3 when you apply you are going to get the same answer here minus 3 yes so you got the same answer for this one too now what about now i have told you that these two conditions are not enough idu rendu value enikku same identity but that is not enough for me to conclude that it is continuous so what i will need to find here 
f at that point which which point zero dear so if i apply it on the function here okay what i will get 5 into x becomes 0 minus 3 thus gets me the same value minus 3 so what i can write here thus limit x tending to 0 minus f of x is equal to limit x tending to 0 plus f of x and it is equal to f of minus 3 okay you can write like okay yeah so these three are same so therefore it is continuous so hence this one is proved got it dear so this is how to prove this one so if you know the other two you can stop by and you can do it by yourself now move on to the second point now at x is equal to minus 3 we are going to check whether it is continuous or not for that first of all limit x tending to minus 3 minus what is this minus 3 minus if a number is minus 3 point on it can get left side le le de de. okay first that is the left hand limit e side now but you will select a point a uh, one point which is 10 which is going towards minus 3 so it is from the left and lower left side okay other than negative and f of x and that which in turn I can write limit h tending to 0 h is now tending towards 0 it is going to be 0 but it is not this will be that value right that is minus 3 minus h minus h e side load fine now what you need to substitute in this equation and uh, in the in the function so limit h tending to 0 this will be uh, onto this that gives me 5 into minus 3 minus h minus 3 and here if I apply the limit and multiply inside and apply the limit and what I will be getting like this will be minus 15 so minus 15 the other part will be having h which will be cancelling because it when you apply 0 that is going to be becoming 0 and that complete uh, term then over here you have minus 3 and thus the value what I get here is minus 18 fine that was your LHS LHL now on to your RHL and this is in fact your LHL right yes and your RHL limit x tending to minus 3 from your positive side from that other side right side okay f of x that i can write it as limit h tending to 0 h is tending to 0 and this time on to the other side plus h and which i need to now take it to that function limit h tending to 0 and 5 into this will be on that x yeah minus 3 and when you apply the limit or multiply inside and apply the limit it's again gonna be minus 18 now what two limits and now at that point what which point minus 3 and when you substitute you're gonna get 5 into minus 3 minus 3 that means these two two uh, two things together so that that gives me minus 15 minus 3 again minus 18 we don't need to do actually like you know that it is continuous here so you don't need to try much but it is to prove so step by step you need to do it so that's why i'm doing this one here so hence we know that your limit x tending to what minus 3 minus f of x is equal to limit x tending to minus 3 plus f x and that value is equal to f of minus 3 so when these three are same what i can write therefore the function is continuous at x is equal to what minus 3 okay here also you need to write okay is continuous at x is equal to 0 fine so this is how you prove it there these two points 
your first one and your second point i hope like you can do the same way you can do the the third one here x x is equal to 5 x is equal to 5 ninku chemedi patile x is equal to 5 the same thing here x is equal to 5 where ivada 5 in ivada 3 in param allegi 0 in param 5 edanam 5 minus h edanam 5 plus h edanam then on f of 5 edanam angane edum boy these three things are going to be same okay nammala second question um examine the continuity of the function f of x is equal to 2x minus 1 at x is equal to 3 okay um find here now f of x is equal to 2x square minus 1 right idinde njan left side and right side kandu pidichu angane njan prove cheyan vendi nokka fine examine cheyana parnikina continue cheyana nu at that point which point x is equal to 3 right okay fine nammal ivada lhs cheyunu ചില സ്ഥലത്ത് സൊല്യൂഷൻസ് ഒക്കെ വന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ചിലപ്പം ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഹാൻഡ് സൈഡ് ആൻഡ് റൈറ്റ് ഹാൻഡ് സൈഡ് രണ്ടും കൂടെ ഇതോ ഒരു ഫംഗ്ഷൻ അല്ലേ ഉള്ളൂ അതുകൊണ്ട് രണ്ടും കൂടെ ഒരുമിച്ച് അവരെടുത്ത് ചെയ്യും പക്ഷേ സ്റ്റിൽ ആർ ജസ്റ്റ് ടേക്കിംഗ് ദോസ് തിങ്സ് വോട്ട് യു ഹാവ് ലേൺ ഇൻ ലെവൻ ആൻഡ് ജസ്റ്റ് കണ്ടിന്യൂ ഇൻ ഡിയർ ഓക്കെ എൽ എച്ച് എം യു ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഹാൻഡ് സൈഡ് ആൻഡ് റൈറ്റ് ഹാൻഡ് സൈഡ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ടൈം ഇറ്റ്സ് കണ ബി ലൈക്ക് ദ പോയിന്റ് ഇസ് ത്രീ ഡിയർ സോ അതിൻ്റെ ലിമിറ്റ് എക്സ്റ്റെൻഡിങ് ടു 3 minus from the left side it is going f of x and which i can write it as limit h tending to 0 and now you have an idea like what is h and that will be f of that point that point minus h dear 3 minus h 3 minus h and then and the left side like that will give me okay that will give me what limit h tending to 0 and the whole thing goes inside the x s, s right 2 into s square this 3 minus h the whole square minus 1 thus what i'm getting here is that okay i'm just doing a bit lengthier process but okay 2 into whole square a minus b the whole square is a square minus 2ab so 2 into a as 6 and h plus b square as h square minus 1 right here minus 1 and i'm writing the whole step k limit h tending to 0 and multiplying 2 inside what i will get 18 minus i will get 12h i don't need to write it because in the next step when you apply it so both these steps you can write it together but it's okay uh 2 into the other term is 2 h square le agathottu minus 1 ini nan ini pa h ne limit apply cheyidu ini endu ettum edinathu apply cheyidu nan what i'm getting here is 18 yeah this 18 then what else you have this these two become zero and then minus 1 this one to 17 so your lhl is 17 now what about the right hand right hand limit rhl so limit extending to 3 plus f of x is equal to limit h tending to 0 f of 3 plus h because 3 in the right side the 3 plus h that gives me limit h tending to 0 This time 2 into on x. Okay. If I apply x, I will apply 3 plus h the whole square. Yeah. Minus 1. That will give me limit h tending to 0. And if I multiply inside, I am going to get the same thing over, uh, written over here with not having that minus sign. So it will be plus itself then 12h. Plus, I am going to expand it. Okay, expand it. Expand it. Change the expression. Two and multiply the same power. This is what you are getting. And then what else you have? Two h square minus one. Applying it, what what I am going to get here is eighteen minus one. The same seventeen I am getting here. Right. So left hand and right hand limit. And you are point at that. And the function at that point, which point three, two into 
3 square that is equal to n minus 1 minus 1 which implies gives me this is 3 3 square is 9 9 into 2 is 18 18 minus 1 is 17 so what I can write here limit x tending to 3 minus f of x is equal to limit x tending to 3 plus f of x is equal to f of 3 so when these three are same what we can write we can write therefore the therefore the function is continuous at x is equal to 3 got it then move on to the third question okay examine the following functions for continuity about e null functions over the tender and the continuous are no illegal and link to check in okay um okay here the main thing is that um we have not given any points points on it but still you want to check whether it is continuous or not but now the first one i think as we have told in the previous two questions i the end question number one in a random polynomial than a random polynomial the first one with the degree one and the second question number one question number two which is it's also again a polynomial with the with a degree two okay but if you are looking at the end f of x is equal to x minus 5 right x minus 5 so it is again a polynomial so since i have told you that all the polynomials are continuous another it is continuous even if you write the steps also you are gonna get the same thing like uh, if you if you try like this way um what limit um x is now tending to c or common item c occur f of x then what i will be getting like uh, limit x tending to c uh, f of x in bar if i substitute over here what i'm gonna get as c minus 5 right there and again if you put f of 5 not 5 f of c again i'm gonna get what c minus 5 in the function the function return i'm gonna get again the same value so with that you know we can conclude that at that point as well as in the limit you are getting the same value so it is continuous fine now on to the second question so it is continuous in all the real numbers or it is continuous at all the all the all the points fine dear it's continuous now in this question f of x is equal to 1 by x minus x minus 5 right where x is not equal to 0 so it's already been told that x is not equal to 5 our 5 i can do it if it is 0 so 1 by 0 is not defined so our point limited to where i allow it is continuous it's continuous like uh the same way if i try to write tending to c f of x are on one angle what i will be getting at the end i'll be getting something like this c minus 5 even you substitute in that function now if c and or that or point and then let's see another point at the end f of c and the bridge in your i'm gonna still gonna get the same value here ko a the variable at the moment at the time the variable is c and the issue and then put a point in the middle of the card it is in the general form the blood is not ready to die the general i see that you form up at the left hand limit and right hand limit in your c or the right here upon in your number three random same idea that you can still like you can you, you know that it is continuous the function is continuous in all the domain or all the real numbers except what it is continuous except except at what point x is equal to 5 so it is already given and rest all the points it's continuous here so that was this that is the b part c part even if you look here in two ways okay if um, if I'm looking in this way, like f of x number nine, the particular number now f of x by g of x, where I told you that uh, this could be continuous, okay. But the only the problem of problem is that g of x, I think number denominator should not be equal to zero, alright. And then to the formula number we can now know that if it is, number x and or the sadhanam, it must not be equal to minus five, alright. Minus five, I'm not bad, alright. It is not continuous. So I can define or I cannot define the function at that point. A the point lana Ibra minus 5 because with giving over here minus 5 in this x 
what I will get minus 5 plus 5 is 0. So again, this g of x must not be 0, so to be continuous. So all the other function except what minus 5, it is continuous. So it's continuous except at x is equal to minus 5 if I see in this way. Okay, so I will see this a plus a square minus b square formula. And the plus and plus plus cancel here you will get x minus 5, x minus 5 in the term. So there, we are getting 5. Hmm? Uh, still, you can prove that it is continuous. But the problem here is, like this must not be, if I am taking in this form, here formula, g of x must not be equal to 0. We have a property in algebraic. Hmm? Algebraic is property in algebra, check in, continuity check in, we have a property where, in this way, if I see, like it shouldn't be there, or x shouldn't be having the value minus 5. If it is, then it is going to become 0. So, except minus 5 here. And over here, modulus. So, the first time you are getting a modulus here. Modulus it is continuous here. Why? Because modulus is a graph. The modulus becomes 0 when 5 minus 5 right? at 5 you have 5 if graph another 5 you are getting something like this so can i draw this graph without lifting my pen yes i can i can try draw it so it is obviously it is going to be continuous here even you put several values you will get the same graph okay that is continuous or check it it will be continuous here you don't need to worry much fine so this is also continuous at all the points fine so this is how you examine it okay this is how you examine it then move on to the fourth question then the fourth question prove that the function f of x is equal to x raised to n is continuous at n x is equal to n so function f of x is equal to x raised to n and what you are asked to prove at x is equal to n learn angle prove that it is continuous okay where n is what it's a positive integer it is actually a positive integer fine now to find the continuity the same thing we can apply over here also like f of n n raised to n at that point n or positive one positive number and number number your function not the x in the program n i to place either then what i will get n raised to n right here if you apply the same on the limit limit x is now tending to n x is tending to n you can understand you can do it i am just keeping it very simple and do it x tending to n f of x i'm going to change that to limit x tending to n dear what is the value of f x of uh, f of x? It is x raised to n. If I apply limit apply, what I'm going to get here? The same thing, n raised to n. So, these two are values are same. Right? So, limit f of n, uh, no, x tending to n, f of x is equal to f of n. Right here. So, we can clearly say that the function is continuous. function is continuous continuous at x is equal to n continuous at x is equal to n fine there so this is the answer for the fourth one there on to the fifth question is the function f defined by f of x is equal to x if x is less than 1 5 if x is greater than 1 continuous at x is equal to 0 x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2 so you need to actually see in all these points whether the function is continuous or not find all the points of discontinuity of f where f is defined by yes so you need to find all the points of discontinuity okay fine so let's see now Whenever you get a question like this, uh, this, what you need to see is that, okay, the function x. Now, as you can see here, 
okay in the graph now where the function is defining or or breaking or defining in a different way at 1 and 1 like now this one is x less than 1 so 1 is over here okay so from here the function what is defined here is x and x when greater than 1 from here greater than 1 it's gonna be 5 that is what been given in the question fine so less than minus 1 less than 1 is x and greater than 1 is 5 first point at x is equal to 0 at x is equal to 0 find here we will check one by one at x is equal to 0 what is your LHL it's gonna be like limit x tending to 0 from minus 0 is over here so from this side if I if it approaches then limit already you know what to be written after this h is tending to 0 that is I am selecting a point which on to the left side which is very close to 0 which is tending to 0 now then I can write here x what minus 0 minus h because 0 minus h will be coming this side you the left side of the 0 0 minus h that will give me that is equal to limit h tending to 0 and what I'm gonna do here in the function I'm gonna check like less than 0 now you can see on to right side okay in left side lum namala right side lum ee rendu side lum namala nokki kenjinal namala limit anale namala function nu parayna same alle ipo nokke ibide aanu zero adinte left side lum idu thaneyana function adinte right side lum idu thaneyana function so we will be using the same function so h now f the function is what x here right so x ne namala substitute cheyumbo it will be minus h because zero boy minus h vannu now when you are applying the limits you are gonna get 0 here now what about RHL then RHL is gonna give me limit h tending to 0 plus f of x is equal to limit h tending to 0 okay from the right side of your 0 okay then what f of 0 plus h that's gonna give me limit h tending to 0 and here when you apply it on x it will be h and when you apply 0 or apply 0 to h you are still gonna get a 0 here and what is the value at 0 f of 0 is what when you apply to the function x when you apply 0 it's again gonna give me 0 so all these three are same so what I can write it is continuous so if I write step by step I need to write it like this f of x is equal to limit x tending to 0 plus f of x is equal to f of 0 therefore it is continuous at x is equal to what 0 so at x is equal to 0 you could able to see very clearly that it is continuous here what about then at 1 then let's see at 1 at x is equal to 1 fine so at 1 get okay, 1 what is its LH LHL is gonna be giving me limit x tending to now this time is 1 minus 1 from the left side here 1 minus f of x gonna give me limit h tending to 0 f of what minus what this time it is not 0 minus h dear just like over here it is not 0 minus h this is this point is 1 e point only 1 only 1 minus h 1 minus h okay 1 minus h so what i can write here is limit h is now tending to 0 and it is 1 minus h in a function is substitute the term on to the left side le appo ivada substitute the nyal what I will be getting here is 1 minus h which when you apply limit apply chamber number 
it's going to be 1 here. And your RHL would give me and then a limit x tending to from the right side of 1. So from here. Okay. So 1 plus f of x is equal to limit h tending to 0. Now f of x, x in the other pump from here you are approaching, right? So 0, not 0. Here it is 1 plus h here. 1 plus h here. 1 plus h here. Now, 1 plus h here. Now, what you are applying the same thing for x, not for x. Now, on right, 1 in the right side, leda have a function. Now, x is now greater than 1. So, 1 in the you need to use this. So, thus, what I will get? You don't have anything to apply this h dear. h is 0 apply gm to salavilla. So, still you get an answer 5. So, this is 1, this is 5. Do you think that it is continuous? It continues though, no, no. No, why? Because limit x tending to 1 minus f of x is not equal to limit x tending to 1 plus f of x. So, therefore, it is discontinuous at, at what? At x is equal to 1. That x is equal to 1 number function where a are under a you are not getting it equal so it is discontinued so the last one is at x is equal to 2 by right, graph it and put 2 number of okay can you know 2 there I will wear very clearly you can see that 5 and 1 and 1 to full 5 then you are above on to the left side of 2 on to the right side of 2 it's very evident that it is 5 so Obviously, and the limit check that you will get 5. So if I am if you want to me to write this one, I will go like this here. Limit your NHL, okay. Limit x tending to now this time from the left side of 2. So 2 minus f of x will give me what? Limit h tends to 0. F of what minus what? 2 minus h because 2 in the left side. So 2 minus h. Now, when you apply on the limit there, on the other, when you look up on the function, it is now greater than 1. greater than 1. So, you will, be, you will be going for this function, 5. So, it will be 5 here and you cannot, you cannot substitute. There is no x over here. So, it will substitute this one. So, 5 and which in turns give me 5 itself. The same thing what you will get, x x tending to 2 plus f of x this time that will give me limit h tending to 0 f of 2 plus h 2 plus h and here limit h tend to 0 same 5 function the same thing because it is one initiation full of 5 then so it is 5 that will in turn give me 5 dear so and at 5 at 2 at 2 you know that the same function 5 dear. So all these things are gonna be equal, therefore it is also continuous at x is equal to 2. So only the place at which this uh, only the point at which like it is discontinuous is at x is equal to 1 will learn a discontinuous. All the other two are or uh, the other two are giving me a value or other 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 two are continuous dear. On to the sixth question. Here question one that we have done previous video as an example. But still, I would like to like do it again. From this question, okay, students. What are you doing? You have a note, you have a pen, 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 what you are getting and then compare with this answer. Okay, what answer is written on the other side? If you have a concept, you can see that the animal student is a little bit more than a little bit of a little lack of practice. 
uh, stuck on like we cannot at a certain point we cannot go forward appo njan ivda parayanulla nu vichinjale ella students um just idu kaanunna ellaru eppadengil kandu kenjal like just try to do it once by yourself and check check the answers find them okay then uh, on to sixth one then appo ivda njan as i have told you like we have already done it now namukku evada evada thannittulla find all the points of continuity alle of f is defined by okay now over here nan nerthe paranju function evadeyana namukku define cheynathu maarnathu ivade evadeyana maarnathu at 2 appo namukku check cheyanadhu at 2 ilana at or x is equal to 2 ile engena namukku check cheyidu nokka at 2 what is your lhl the left hand limit is nothing but limit x tending to from as you now know that it is now to alle adinde e side lot ana povunna and we will pick a point from here so it will be 2 minus because of left side f of x is equal to limit h tending to zero you will take a point h very close to 2 randinde aduthulla oru point edukkum aa oru point il like h is tending to 2 so that uh, is zero h is tending to zero appo it will be like to zero tending to zero nu orthina h aanu idarnu vecho adu tending to zero nu vecho korne 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 it will be coming to close to 2 appo and the point is on to the left side which is like 2 minus h 2 minus h now just need to substitute this one and what i'm getting here is okay limit h tending to zero now which one you will take i, I took like left hand and the left side la nokki appo x is now less than 2 dear x is now less than 2 so this one we will pick it x appo enda na the function 2x minus 2x plus 3 appo 2 x in par evada enda edanda 2 minus h 2 minus h plus 3 fine now when you multiply inside and apply the limit okay for the for the sake of understanding i'm just multiplying and writing here 2 2 is are 4 okay 4 2 minus 2h then plus 3 when you apply it this will be 0 so it will be 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 so 7 get like this one is 7 now now check the rhl then limit h tending to uh what is this time 2 plus f of x 2 plus because from the right side from this side 2 plus is equal to limit h tending to 0 f of 2 plus h because 2 plus h that will give me limit h tending to 0 2 into now this time randinu valadu ennu cheyal 2 ne gatti valadu appo you need to take this function so it will be 2 into This 2 into x in the cell then then 2 plus h 2 plus h minus 3 it's so minus 3 that will give me limit h tending to 0 4 plus 2 h minus 3 and when you apply it now this term is gonna be 0 and 4 minus 3 that will give me 1 so you don't need to do further here you don't need to check at 2 because either and equal all so what you can write limit x tends to 2 minus f of x is equal to limit is not equal to x tend to plus 2 f of x so as you got here we can say clearly that it is this continuous at x is equal to what at 2 by x is equal to 2 nalla sarathu it is discontinuous clear then on to the seventh one okay seventh question seventh question at f of x is equal to thannittund modulus of x plus 3 when x is less than minus 3 thannittund and then between minus 3 and 3 or function aanu so if i just draw this number line here like 3 is over here Okay, three is over here, and minus three is over here. Yeah, 
Well, it will be in between like zero. Agar vachu no. Ibra parni jikna. Very carefully you just see. Okay, it's very easy there, but you need to think a bit. Or kochcha naalu chinnyal. It is very easy for you to do. Angana anangile. Ibra idna no ke. X is now less than or equal to. And uh, okay, yeah, less than or equal to. And then minus three yana. Apo less than or minus three no chinnyal. X in the value ignored. Ignored ana thamne ke yeh value adukhe na. Modulus of x plus three yana adukhe na. Right. Between, if it is between these two, it is not a kind of thing. Either kind of minus two x side kind of. And it is three in the cutty cooler. Another one thing. Six x plus two. So is this clear? Or is this clear? I think you know. You know, balance it. Apple. And it is model is one thing. You know, you need to do. You need to do a certain adjustment here. Number model is on the other side. No, okay. मोडलस वरुद अोडल इंपॉर्ट वरिदेवीव ना नेगटीव नंबे मोडल अंदर नंबर आईकोटे यू विलवे गेट ए पॉजिटीव वालू अगर पॉजिटीव वालू कॉजिटीव नंबर कॉजिटीव कशे नेगटीव नंबर कैगटीव आशे मोडल नमजिटीव कम नयन मोडलूट मोडलोक Minus of x plus three nila. Okay, I can use this function. Minus of x plus three. And the one thing, any kind of value that you think about it, you will get that clear there. Okay. And now, now I need to check the thing. Now, any kind of two points, let me check here. At minus three and at three. Fine. Apo, aadi to. At x is equal to minus three, let me check here. Now, function continues. I know, illen or because function moon sarath the define chena to where where di di le. I need to check it in these two places where minus three is three is. Okay, at minus three, Lana, I'm going to check it. Now, what I will get? Okay, L H L. No, keep it. Now, what I'm going to get is limit x tending to minus three. I'm going to say that minus three e or minus three. I'm going to say that. Then minus three from the left side. Okay, f of x is equal to limit h tending to zero. H tend to zero, and you need to take a value very close to left side of the minus three, and that will be H minus minus three minus H minus three minus H. He said. Okay, that will give me limit H tending to zero f of x. A rana less than minus three. I mean, left side of minus three. This is the function minus function. So minus of minus three minus H. Plus three, and when you apply the limit and uh, multiply this minus inside, what you will be getting is three plus three, gonna give you a value six. Fine, because minus into minus plus plus three will be. If our h and then zero, then three. So three plus three is six. Fine, dear. Now you are R H L. Fine. So this is your L H L and this is your R H S R H L, where limit. X tending to minus three itself, but this time plus from that side, other side. F of x is equal to limit h tending to zero. H is now tending to zero, and in the place of f, like onto the other side of three, other side of three, less than or equal to zero function. Or, but say greater than, greater than x is now greater than three. Or equal to what is the value? It's minus two x. 
So, apo, f of x in the graph, now 3 minus 3 plus h. Okay, now 3 is minus 3 plus h. Okay, so when you go for the function, it's gonna be minus 2x. Substitute number minus 2 is there, then x in the salad minus 3 plus h. And this term, second term becomes 0 because h in the term, and, but you multiply, you will get minus 2 into minus 3 will give you 6. Clear? It is 6. Now, now with what if at minus 3, f at minus 3, then the Pay the term either e same function minus 3 le egg minus x in a pair number substitute then minus of minus 3 plus 3 that is equal to minus of minus 3 becomes 3 plus 3 and thus gives me the same value since all these things are same. So, what I can write? So, I can like write like this in every step, no problem. You can edit up actually 3 minus f of x is equal to limit extending to minus 3 plus x f of x is equal to f of minus 3 so continuous at what x is equal to 3 x is equal to 3 answer method is continuous fine here now let's check at 3 at 3 and then okay okay so, now x is equal to minus 3 and the point is okay then we have to look at this function we have to look at this function we have to where we are we will define chain one is at minus 3 and at 3 so upon minus 3 no key now at x is equal to my uh, 3 ilu no key minus 3 no key now at 3 fine at 3 at 3 ilu on to the left side here a function on to the right side this function fine here okay let's check that one lhl limit x tending to what now if it minus 3 at the turn now on to 3 minus from left f of x is equal to limit h tending to 0 h tending to 0 f of what minus what 3 minus h because 3 in e cycle 3 minus h and that will give me limit h tending to 0 this time f here is a left hand side here the function minus 2x above minus 2 and x in a set of 3 minus h that will be giving me an answer uh, multiply chidin and minus 6 and the getting because h will become 0 now on to rhl dear rhl what i'm gonna get here is limit x tending to 3 plus f of x is equal to yeah 3 plus what i'm gonna get Limit h tending to 0 f of x in the bottom 3 plus h because h on to the right side of that so plus h and thus I will get limit h tending to 0 and the x in the set of the 3 plus h which function the other function which is 6 into x in the bottom 3 plus h 3 plus h then plus 2 now applying the limit as well as multiplying inside you will get 18 then 0 then plus 2 and thus give me 20 dear so 20 so are these two same not really it's different right here so i can write limit h tending to 3 minus f of x is yep is not equal to limit x tending to 3 plus f of x therefore i can clearly say that the function is this continuous at x is equal to what at 3 so it is continuous at minus 3 but it is discontinuous at x is equal to 3 here yes Fine. Now on to eighth question. On to eighth, ninth question. Okay. Eighth question in the parenthesis f of x is equal to modulus of x by x if x is not equal to zero. 
now i have told you like in the previous question la namaku modulus vandittundayi njan oru concept parannu okay njan ivada korchum kuda oru idea tharam when x is not equal to 0 zero when x is equal to 0 okay and okay first we will check this question now njan oru modulus inde kaaryam njan parnappo like okay this f of x what i am gonna do is that njan ee function korchum change cheyan vendi povana നമുക്കറിയാം അറ്റ് എക്സ് ഇസ് ഇക്വൽ ടു എന്താണ് എക്സ് ഇസ് ഇക്വൽ ടു എക്സ് സീറോൻ്റെ സമയത്ത് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ എന്താണ് സീറോ ആണ് ഇഫ് എക്സ് ഇസ് ഇക്വൽ ടു സീറോ എക്സ് സീറോ ആവുന്ന സമയത്ത് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ്റെ വാല്യൂ സീറോ ആണ് ആൻഡ് അതൊരു കൺഫ്യൂഷൻ വേണ്ടല്ലോ ബിക്കോസ് ഓൾറെഡി ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഗിവൻ കൺഫ്യൂഷൻ ഈസ് നമ്മൾ ഇങ്ങനെ ഗ്രാഫ് വരയ്ക്കുമ്പോൾ അറ്റ് സീറോയിൽ സീറോ തന്നെയാണ് ലെറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ബി ഫൈൻ നോ ഇഷ്യൂസ് പക്ഷേ നമ്മൾ ബാക്കിയുള്ള സ്ഥലം ലെസ് ദാൻ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ലൈക്ക് ലെസ് ദാൻ സീറോ ഗ്രേഡർ ദാൻ സീറോ ഈ ഒരു സമയത്ത് എന്താണ് ഇതെന്നാ പറയുന്നത് ഈ രണ്ട് ഭാഗത്ത് വിച്ച് ഇസ് മോഡുലസ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് ബൈ എക്സ് ആൻഡ് മോഡുലസ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് ബൈ എക്സ് ഇതിൻ്റെ റൈറ്റ് ഹാൻഡ് സൈഡിലും ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഹാൻഡ് സൈഡിലും ദ വാല്യൂ ഇസ് ഗോണ ബി സെയിം പക്ഷെ ഞാൻ നേരത്തെ മോഡുലസിൻ്റെ കാര്യം പറഞ്ഞു ഇവിടെ മോഡുലസ് ആയിരുന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞാലും ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദാൻ വാല്യൂ തന്നെ കിട്ടണം എന്നാൽ ദിസ് ഐ ജസ്റ്റ് നീ ടു Right, if I am left hand side, I need to write it as what? Minus of, my, minus of x, isn't it? Minus of x, I don't know what I am saying. What is that? Because if I have minus 5, I will substitute it. If I have minus 5, I will substitute it. What I am going to get? Minus of minus 5, isn't it? So that will be positive. So we will get positive value because modulus of x. അങ്ങനെ വന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ എനിക്ക് എടുക്കേണ്ടത് എന്താണ് ഇവിടെ മോഡുലസിന്റെ സ്ഥലത്ത് മൈനസ് എക്സ് ബൈ എക്സ് ഇസ് എറ്റ് മൈനസ് എക്സ് ബൈ എക്സ് വിച്ച് ഐ ക്യാൻ ക്യാൻസൽ ദീസ് ടു വോട്ട് ആൻഡ് വണ് ഗെറ്റ് മൈനസ് വൺ സോ എനിക്കിവിടെ മൈനസ് വൺ കിട്ടും അറ്റ് വോട്ട് ഇഫ് എക്സ് ഇസ് ലെസ് ദാൻ സീറോ സീറോ ആണ് വലുത് ഓക്കെ ഈ ഈ വ എങ്ങോട്ടാണ് വലുത് അത് ആ നമ്പർ ആണ് വലുത് അപ്പൊ ഇവിടെ വലുത് ഏതാണ് സീറോ അപ്പൊ എക്സ് ഇസ് ലെസ് ദാൻ സീറോ ആണെങ്കിൽ എനിക്ക് എന്താ കിട്ടേണ്ടത് മൈ എനിക്ക് വിൽ ബി ഗെറ്റിംഗ് മൈനസ് വൺ ആൻഡ് വാട്ട് ഇഫ് ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് പോസിറ്റീവ് ദെൻ ഐ ഡോ നീഡ് ടു തിങ്ക് മച്ച് ബിക്കോസ് എക്സ് തന്നെ ആയിരിക്കും എക്സ് ബൈ എക്സ് എസ് യു ക്യാൻസൽ ഇറ്റ് എക്സ് ബൈ എക്സ് സോ വൺ സോ ഹിയർ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി വൺ ഇഫ് വാട്ട് എക്സ് ഇസ് ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദാൻ സീറോ എക്സ് ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദാൻ സീറോ ആണെങ്കിൽ യു വിൽ ബി ഗെറ്റിംഗ് വൺ സോ ഹൗ ദ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ലുക്സ് ലൈക്ക് ഈ ഒരു ഗ്രാഫിൽ വരച്ചാൽ സീറോ ഇവിടെ less than it will be minus 1 like this and greater than 0 it is 1 here so it is like this here so it is actually a sigma function sigma function ana and uh, so it is naturally you can see in the graph itself it is it is continuous alle it is it is discontinuous at what 0 zero la discontinuous ana fine and also okay yeah it is discontinuous over there fine then move on to the ninth question then the ninth question ipo ibrayum namaku or modulus pole undu le modulus pole undu but if i think in that way f of x how i can replace it negative like x is now less than zero apo zero on the left side la anengil ee or salatha anengil this will be taken as x by here side la anengil x by minus x so i can cancel these two what i'm going to get minus 1 so minus 1 if x is less than 0 fine now already the other function is given minus 1 if x is greater than greater than 0 so what i can write here so നിങ്ങൾ രണ്ട് നിങ്ങൾ സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ബൈ സ്റ്റെപ്പ് നമ്മൾ ഇപ്പൊ രണ്ട് കേസിലും സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ബൈ സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ഞാൻ എഴുതിയിട്ടില്ല പക്ഷെ ദിസ് ഇസ് ജസ്റ്റ് സംതിങ് ടു തിങ്ക് ഇയർ ഓക്കെ ഹിയർ ഓൾസോ യു ക്യാൻ സി ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ്സ് മൈനസ് വൺ ലെസ് ദാൻ കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ടും അറ്റ് സീറോയിലും മൈനസ് വണ് ഗ്രേഡ് ദാൻ സീറോയിലും ഗ്രേഡ് ദാൻ യാ ഗ്രേഡ് ദാൻ സീറോയിലും ഇറ്റ്സ് മൈനസ് വൺ സെയിം വാല്യൂ സോ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് continues at 0 alle it is continues at x is equal to 0 x is 0 on samayathu it continues on with the graph 
even you can understand this is x this is y this is going to be your minus 1 value so at under side look there is minus 1 here fine now move on to the 10th one then. okay fine moving on to the 10th question f of x is equal to x plus 1 if x is greater than or equal to 1 upon suppose if i done one angle greater than this side this function which what is that function x plus 1 nano when x is less than 1 on the angle on to this side the function is x square plus 1 so e rendu karyangal manasilaakka and the where where would be parayan undu if find all the points on the varanjirikkane ipo eniki check cheyidittu ee oru point inde ipper side lum ipper side lum continuous nanengil you can say that the all the points are continuous itself so appo function evadana define cheyidikkunnathu vera reethiyil allengil function evadana break avunne avada check cheyi nokka whether it is continuous or not if it is continuous then you can say that all the points are uh, like x edena point aikotte it is continuous here it is continuous at all the points fine so how could you find this one we can uh, we need to first find the left hand limit alle nammal lhl nammal eduthu kenjal what i am getting here limit x tending to 1 minus from the left hand side f of x is equal to limit h tending to 0 and f on to the left side so it will be of which point this 1 so 1 minus h edukana le 1 minus h so that's what i will get here is limit h tending to 0 and f of this 1 minus x is on to the x there pashe a the function edukende now less than so already i wrote here the function x square plus 1 so appo less than 1 anengil x square plus 1 so ivide endu edukanam x square x in the sala thenda edunda 1 minus h so 1 minus h the whole square plus 1 inslayo ingane edukanam then that is equal to now you need to just uh, uh, apply the limit okay for that you can expand it and you can do it which is like 1 square a, a minus b the whole square so 1 square is 1 minus 2h plus h square plus 1 and when you apply the limit apply the limit and what you will get and then get an h poem you would have 1 under and all these two terms will go at plus 1 so here what you got you get 2 here fine apa eniki lhl vandittu eniki 2 on it let's see the rhl right hand limit if i'm seeing then that will be limit extending to 1 plus from the positive side i'm seeing f of x is equal to limit h tending to 0 and this time f of x f of what plus what and this is 1 right 1 plus h what 1 in the right hand side just or a point very close to 1 it is 1 plus h and that case limit h tend to 0 this f 1 plus h and we have substitute it it is in this one there because it is greater than so i would want to do x x in and 1 plus h then plus 1 plus 1 so this will be going to this function so h 1 plus h plus 1 so when you apply the limit you would get the same thing like 2 so if we have random we have correct idea limit x tending to 1 minus f of x is equal to limit x tending to 1 plus f of x is random equal to number kitty there is one more left there really that is at that point f of 1 in the normal check here f of 1 in the random function is the the first one right because that is equal to so you will take the first function and applying the one there to x 1 plus 1 so you got the same value here sir. so these three are same so this is equal to f of 1 so this is continuous so so what i can write it is continuous at 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 all the points 
continuous with all the points. So, but so you all the points will continue to know, find all the points of continuity of x for now. So, if this is true, then what else we need to check? All the other two sides will be continuous itself, right? Because function defined na change out the ele. If then check the correct term. So this continues at all the points. Fine there. Now on to the eleventh one then. On to eleventh and twelfth question here. Uh your question on the tell read the chair. Okay. Uh suppose Nanipa left hand left look and h chitake a chair. Okay. You can also do like this if you want. Okay. Uh, f of x is equal to this. That will be good because uh, here it is like x raised to 10. So, um, same thing, you want to find the points of continuity yeah, of f. If it is a function a break in, it is a two wheel and a break in. Uh, what I am going to do here is that L LHL, okay, LHL, what I am going to write here is limit x tending to, okay, 2. Okay, I will break down on just other than a parnola, just a minus laka. This is that two. I will this is x is less than less than two. Okay, x is less than or equal to two. And I give you an immutable function is the first one. Fine. Positive side when x is greater than two, this function. So, Adi left hand side. Okay, 10 to what? 2 minus f of x. So what I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna substitute directly over here. I'm gonna add angular limit x tending to 2, okay, 2 f of x in a less than a lay. So x cube x cube minus 3 minus 3. When you apply the limit here, you will be getting 8, 2 cube is 8, 8 minus 3, which is 5. So, any 5 in it. Fine. Now, your RHL. Yeah. Limit x tending to 2 plus positive side in the number of f of x is equal to what is your f of x here? Then limit x tending to uh, okay. Normally, we used to write 2 itself here. Okay. 2 here side in the positive side in the plus side. When x is greater than 2, what is the function here? x square plus 1. x square plus 1. So that is equal to either and the room. Like this is gonna be like um, 2 there. Yeah. 2 square. Uh, 4. 4 plus 1. Again gonna give me the same answer. And these 2 plus you need to find what is that f of a the value on a 2 will. A the function it will the function it so, the same function if I take it, 2 cube minus 3. So, 8 minus 3, I got the same answer. So, here limit x tending to 2 minus f of x is equal to limit x tending to 2 plus f of x is equal to f of 2. So, you got this one right there. So, it is... Continuous at all the points there, especially at 2, it is continuous. So, it is continuous. Fine. So, last it is continuous. Fine. Only the thing what is making us confused is at 2 that we checked it, and ultimately we came to know that e mono equal on so it is continuous everywhere. Now, in 12th, the same thing there. Over here, break on the 1 in the other. On to the left side, which function we will take? x less than 1. 1 in the other way. x on the other way. Up here, you know. The first one. So, LHL. Here, limit x tending to 1 minus from the left hand side function is equal to limit x tending to 1. Which function we will take? x raised to 10 minus 1, 10 minus 1. Now, if I apply it, it's going to be 1 raised to 10 minus 1. That is going to be giving me a value 0. So, I'm going to be 
जीरो नेगेटिव अर्थात आर अक्षर लिमिट एक्स टेंडिंग टू वन प्लस एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू लिमिट एक्स टेंडिंग टू वन वॉट इज अ फंक्शन डियर एक्स स्क्वायर हियर एक्स स्क्वायर एंड वेन यू अप्लाई इट आई एम गोना गेट एन आंसर जीरो सो हियर वॉट आई कैन राइट लिमिट एक्स टेंडिंग टू वन माइनस एफ ऑफ एक्स इज नॉट इक्वल टू not equal to limit x tending to 1 plus f of x so these two are not same not equal so what i can write the function is this continuous at x is equal to 1 so one ile function discontinuous find it on to the 13th then 13th question is the function defined by f is equal to x plus 5 x plus 5 if x is great is less than 1 so one ile anu so if it is less than 1 f x plus 5 aanu adikkendathu if it is greater than 1 it is x minus 5 a continuous function aanu nammal nokkanam is that a function continuous or not that is what we need to check fine so straight away lhl what is it limit x tending to 1 minus f of x is equal to the same way which we did before dear h tending to 0 your h tending to 0 and this will be f 1 and h would be less than 1 So one minus h, one minus h, and that gives me limit h tend to zero, and this function goes where in this function? E or x in other? E or one minus h or no? So it will be one minus h plus five. So when you apply the limit, it will be one plus five. That will give me six. Fine. That will give me. Now what? Now your right hand limit. Limit x tending to one plus one plus f of x. I'm going to end up with that. That is equal to limit h tending to zero. This time, which function? Here x minus y because x is greater than one. I'm going to give you a function. I'm going to x in the bagger. I'm going to. Okay, I will write here. What is it? One plus h. On to the right hand side. One plus h. That will give me limit h tending to zero. I told you the function where this value goes inside the x. So it will be one plus h minus five. That will be one minus five because h is zero. Apply chamber. That will give me minus four. One minus five is minus four. Are not same, right? So what you can write? Limit x tending to one minus f of x is not equal to limit x tending to one plus f of x. So they are not same. They they are not same. So this is not continuous. Therefore, the function. Is is not continuous. At x is equal to one. By x is equal to one, then your function continuous. It is discontinuous. Fine. And the question number fourteen. Discuss the continuity of function uh, f where f is defined by. Okay. Fourteen one. Then we will come to it. No. എവിടെയാണ് അതിന്റെ ഏതൊക്കെ പോയിന്റിലാണ് കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് ആണെന്നുള്ളത് നമ്മൾ ചെക്ക് ചെയ്യണം റൈറ്റ് നോ എഫ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഇസ് ഇക്വൽ ടു ത്രീ ഇഫ് എക്സ് ഇസ് ലൈക്ക് ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദാൻ സീറോ ബട്ട് ലെസ് ദാൻ വൺ ഈക്വൽ ടു വൺ ദെൻ ഫോർ എഫ് വൺ എക്സ് ഇസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ വൺ ആൻഡ് ത്രീ ഫൈവ് ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ഇസ് എക്സ് ഇസ് ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദാൻ ഓർ ഈക്വൽ ടു ത്രീ ആൻഡ് ലെസ് ദാൻ ഓർ ഈക്വൽ ടു ടെൻ 
but you have lot of numbers here right correct number so maybe there is a chance of getting confused but uh, think like this middle le kadakkunnathu onnu just onnu onnu mark here 1 and 3 okay ipo idinde 1 and 3 inde rakkana ki endana inde value nu paranju it's 4 okay it's 4 now as in the question itself same thing namak manasilavu 3 um 4 um okka mollum thayayittu kadakkunnu okay so but we will do by ourselves like whether it is continuous or at any point or not okay ini pom one in the left side or that means less than one when x is less than one here between one and zero but zero ni namak adikkan avashyam because this x is greater than zero x nu parayunnathu zero ne kaati valudana pakshe cherudana nu edey koduttundo illa അതേപോലെ തന്നെ ടെന്നിനെ കാട്ടി ചെറുതാണെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് പക്ഷെ ടെന്നിനെ കാട്ടി വലുതെന്നുള്ളത് ഡിഫൈൻ ചെയ്തിട്ടില്ല അപ്പൊ ടെൻ എന്നുള്ള പോയിന്റ് എടുക്കേണ്ട ആവശ്യമില്ല ഓക്കെ ആ വാല്യൂ ഡിഫൈൻ ചെയ്തിട്ടില്ല ഇപ്പം അതുകൊണ്ട് ലെസ് ദാൻ വരുമ്പോ ഈ ഒരു ഫംഗ്ഷൻ എത്ര വരുന്നേ ആ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഇസ് ത്രീ ഓക്കെ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് ലൈക്ക് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ബിക്കംസ് ഓർ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഇസ് ത്രീ മോർ ദാൻ ത്രീ ഓർ ഗ്രേഡർ ദാൻ ത്രീ എന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഇവിടെ ഫൈവ് ആണ് so you yourself can like imagine like how the the lines are going to be right it's like uh, one atumbo one ipam ingena ana graph angil ipam till uh, not from here from 0 to 3 it is 0 to 1 it is 3 from 1 to 4 like so i mean over over nammal ezhudumbo like ipo uh, 4 vare enna ഇത് ത്രീ ആണ് നൗ ഫോർ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുള്ളത് ഇപ്പൊ സപ്പോസ് ഇപ്പം ഇവിടെയാണ് ഓക്കെ ദെൻ ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫൈവ് ദെൻ ഇറ്റ് വുഡ് ബി സംവെയർ ഓവർ ഹിയർ സോ യു ഗെറ്റ് ടു സീ ദാറ്റ് ത്രൂ ഗ്രാഫ് ഓർ ലൈക്ക് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഒരു പെട്ടെന്ന് ഒരു ക്വസ്റ്റൻ ഇങ്ങനെ ചോദിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് ആണോ ഡിസ്കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് ആണെന്ന് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് പോയിന്റ്സ് കണ്ടാൽ തന്നെ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് മനസ്സിലാവും ബട്ട് സേ ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് ഇസ് ടു സോൾവ് ഇറ്റ് സോ വി വിൽ സോൾവ് ഇറ്റ് സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ബൈ സ്റ്റെപ്പ് അറ്റ് എക്സ് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു വിച്ച് പോയിന്റ് വൺ വണ്ണിൽ നോക്കാം വണ്ണിലാണെങ്കിൽ ലിമിറ്റ് എക്സ്റ്റെൻഡിങ് ടു വൺ മൈനസ് എഫ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ലിമിറ്റ് എച്ച് ടെൻസ് ടു സീറോ സീറോ എഫ് ഓഫ് വൺ അല്ലേ വൺ മൈനസ് എച്ച് വൺ മൈനസ് എച്ച് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു നൗ വിഷ് വൺ ലെസ് ദാൻ അപ്പൊ ഏത് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ആണ് 3 here 3 so it will be ivda endengil undo x inde avada apply cheyan vendittilla so what is the value here it's 3 ipam idu nammala lhl aanu if you look at your rhl what are you going to get it is limit x tending to 1 plus f of x is equal to limit h tending to zero here f of 1 plus h 1 and r side the right side 1 plus h that is equal to limit h tending to zero plus h am and then value there is 4 there 4 that gives me 4 appa idu random different aanundengi do we need to check at 1 no it is here itself it is not same dear so limit x tending to 1 minus f of x is not equal to limit x tending to 1 plus f of x so it is discontinuous at x is equal to what 1 so we got 1 fine the next one is what at at 3 is what we need to check so at x is equal to 3 your lh limit x tending to 3 minus f of x from your left side from here you need to check it yeah that is going to be giving me limit h tending to 0 and we are taking a point just left side of this one so it will be f of 3 minus h 3 minus h that's going to be limit h tends to 0 limit h tends to 0 3 into minus on what is the function 4 dear so here the value is 
whereas your R action is tending to 3 plus f of x that is equal to limit h tending to 0 f of 3 plus h 3 plus h but in the note 10 to 0 0 will tend to change because h is going to be very small so that means it is going towards 3 angle but it is not 3 it is going towards 3 angle as a function Functional value is 5. There is no place to substitute this particular value. So it is 5. So thus it is 4 and 5. So it is very much clear that these two values are different. Right there. So I can say limit x tending to 3 minus f of x is not equal to limit x tending to 3 plus f of x. So obviously what is the conclusion? It is therefore discontinuous at x is equal to what 3 so it is not continuous at 1 neither at 3 it is continuous fine so this was your 14th one more to the 15th on to the 15th question about uh, here we are doing the same thing here we are we are just checking whether it is continuous or not about uh, 15th question at the parangal function 2x if x is less than 0, 0 if between what 0 and 1, okay, that is an equal to sign that we will do it. 4x if x is greater than 1, about now we will point to check here, one is 0 and the other one is 1, now we will middle lateral it will be easy, okay, about and the left side and the right side and the right side if x is less than 0, what is it? What is the function? 2x. And between these two, where x uh, involved ano, alingi 0, avade ano, yude ano, alingi edukkun nondo, illa nondo, thamukku pinna no ka. 0 between these two. 4x greater than 1. So, all the way down here, it is 4x. That is the function. So, we will check one by one. Hmm? At x is equal to, Either check it at 0. 0 will check it first. 0 will check it at first LHN. Limit x tends to 0 minus from the left side if I am checking. From the left side load to pull more. F of x that is equal to limit h tends to 0. Yeah. And this will be f of 0 minus h. h will be somewhere over here less than 0. So, 0 minus h. That will give me limit h tends to 0 e minus h if I to substitute it onto this function. So, that will be 2 because x is less than less than your function less than. So, less than 0 about 2x. Yeah. So, 2 into x in the cell minus h. So, when you apply it you are going to get a value 0. Fine. Now, R H L. That is limit x tending to 0 plus from this side. F of x is equal to limit h tending to 0. H tends to, we are taking a small point on the right side of 0. Yeah, that tends to 0. Then it will be reaching or it will be nearby 0. It is going towards 0 from the right hand side. So, f of 0 plus h, f of 0 plus h and while checking this one, when you apply it, h tends to 0, within the x in the center apply chamber, which function you will take? On the function uh, over here, right? Yeah, in this one. So, it is 0 there itself. So, it is 0. Fine. So, these two are same. Now, we need to check at 0 f of 0 and then we will check here at 0 at 0 now a the function at 0 at 0 x is equal to 0 this is the same function so it is 0 so is equal to 0 so when these three say uh, three are same you can say that the function is continuous right so when limit x tending to 0 minus f of x is equal to 
limit extending to 0 plus f of x is, is equal to f of 0, you can say that it is continuous at x is equal to 0. Fine, it is continuous. Clear? And we don't know. Yeah, it is 0. Right. So, it is continuous at x is equal to this continuous. Now, at the next point, at 1, 1 is the number. Like, 1 is the number left hand left hand limit to number limit x tends to what 1 minus f of x is equal to limit s tending to 0 here f of what what minus here it is 1 so 1 minus h so if it are point so 1 minus h so that point so that will give me limit h tends to 0 yeah h tending to 0 and we need to substitute the value over there on this side onto the left side which is already 0 like 0 so hence the function is or the whole thing is 0 here so you are archer limit x tending to 1 plus f of x is equal to limit h tending to 0 h tending to 0 and this time from here so f of 1 plus h 1 plus h when you substitute h tending to 0 you will take this value and substitute in x so it will be 4 into 1 plus h x and all the value substitute in the left so 1 plus h this is 1 plus h over there so it will be not 0 but when you apply the limit to h h will be 0 and it will be 4 here 4 plus 0 is 4 so is it same no so limit x tends to 1 minus f of x is not equal to limit x tends to 1 plus f of x so and these two are not same and there are between it is this continuous right? it is not continuous at therefore the function is not continuous at x is equal to 1 fine so it is continuous at x is equal to 0 but it is not continuous at x is equal to 1 fine on to the 16th okay question number 16 uh, f of x is equal to it is as same as 15 okay dear like it's minus 2 if x is less than minus 1 Ma 2x if it's between like minus 1 and 1 and 2 if it is greater than so minus 1 and 1 here. less than or equal to it is minus 2 here and between like minus 1 and 1 it is 2 let's check that equality later okay when x in the value if it is greater than 1 and angle 2 fine so let's check it then then the first one at this is 1 okay minus 1 and 1 now on to your first at x is equal to minus 1 if I check LHL limit x tends to minus 1 minus you still remember that minus no uh, this minus is minus 1 and the minus which I put here is from the left side if I check f of x is equal to limit h tending to 0 f of what minus minus 1 minus h minus 1 minus h so i'm just counting on a point onto the left side just along with minus 1 but it is not minus 1 so and the left side you got a and you know your point i know that is so it will be minus 1 minus h so that will give me our the continuity and check here so if i drop it even after dropping him it's minus 2 right there so it's a value there so limit h tending to 0 x in a x is now less than minus 1 so 
So minus 1 and the other. Minus 2. So the answer is minus 2 here. What about R children? Limit extending to 1 plus f of x is equal to limit h tending to 0 f of this time it is like okay minus 1 plus minus 1 right minus 1 plus so this time it's gonna be minus 1 in the right side somewhere over here so it will be plus 1 plus h this what i get here is limit h tend to 0 then which one you will pick it's between on to the right side right so it is 2x it's 2x x negative value than minus 1 negative value x x value than angle the function 2x so it is 2x here and when i just uh 2x but it is not x there you need to drop what at the place of x what you need to write you need to write minus 1 plus h so here function in kevada x in the area x in the area 2 into x in the sun minus 1 plus h that will give me another multiply minus 2 minus 2 plus h 2 h 2 h h in a 0 apply to that will be 0 so it is minus 2 so we got here minus 2 minus 2 just check the last part f of uh, f of minus 1 and the f of minus 1 which function we will take uh done equal to an angle and the minus 2 then and so it is minus 2 itself so what you can see here limit extending to minus 1 minus f of x is equal to limit x tending to minus 1 plus f of x is equal to f of minus 1 an angle and the barayana therefore the function is continuous at x is equal to minus 1 so minus 1 left the function is continuous right so i hope like it's very much clear right? so number left hand limit no key right hand limit no key then you can see that f of f of 1 f of minus 1 no key the moon value monitor it's same so you can say that it is continuous at minus 1 so minus 1 number check here point is continuous here so let's check it 1 then at x is equal to 1 what happened lhs is lhl is limit x tending to from this side right so 1 minus f of x is equal to limit h tending to 0 f of what 1 minus h onto the left side 1 minus h that will give me limit h tend to 0 if it is number your side length on 2x on 2x onto the left side function is 2x i already wrote here 2x check here i will check here a little bit like 1 in the left side means less than 1 is x less than 1 less and between minus 1 is 2x so 2x now it is not 2x here but what you need to write here instead of um instead of x x what you need to write you need to write what is given there 1 minus x 1 minus h that will be when you go for you will get a value 2 if you check it you will get it 2 into 1 plus 2 so 2 minus h that h will be 0 so it is 2 what about our children it's gonna be limit x tends to 1 plus f of x is equal to limit h tending to 0 f of 1 plus h 1 plus h that will give me limit h tends to 0 this time what is the function 2 it's 2 here so it's 2 so these two are same yes now we need to check what is at at 1 at 1 la a function at 1 you need to go for this function because equality sign so it is 2x so 2 into 1 1 x in 1 about 2 into 1 so that will be 2 so 
got these three same yeah so what you can write limit x tending to 1 minus f of x is equal to limit x tending to 1 plus f of x is equal to f of 1 so we can say therefore the function is continuous at x is equal to what 1 so it is continuous at both 1 as well as minus 1 so in under case of it is continuous that is what your conclusion is fine on to 17th question find the relationship between a and b a and b in the relationship so that the function f defined by ax plus 1 if x is less than 3 okay so 3 if it is less than less than or equal to if it is less than what is the function ax plus 1 right and if it is x is greater than 3 greater than 3 the function is bx plus 3 fine and it's been said that it is continuous in that case you know what is continuous right here okay and if it is continuous other continuous on angle left hand limit is equal to right hand limit is equal to the function at that point fine so the same thing we will find it out and then we will see like how can we get to the relationship between a and b fine about number left hand limit look left hand limit okay limit extending towards 3 from the negative side right x uh, from the left hand side so x tending to 3 minus f of x is equal to limit h tending to 0 f of what 3 minus h because 3 in the left 3 minus h so that h is a point very close to that 3 on to the left side so 3 minus h that will give me what limit h tending to 0 um, less than 3 in which in the function less than 3 the same thing ax plus 1 where a uh, x in the bar in the domain x in the bar 3 minus h so a into 3 minus h plus 1 fine that is equal to if I apply chain in the banyan just another thought to multiply chain just um, it's gonna be 3a right minus a h plus 1 so when you apply the limit so this h term vanish out you will get what 3a plus 1 fine dear so got 3a plus 1 fine now on to your right hand limit right hand limit limit x tending to 3 plus f of x plus f of x is equal to limit h tending to 0 here f of x and h is just near by 3 on to the right side so 3 plus h fine so that will give me limit h tending to 0 x in a param 3 plus h rupum. but the function over here is greater than so x is now um, like yeah x is greater than 3 so it is bx plus 3 upon b into x is now 3 plus h yeah plus 3 plus 3 and when you apply the limit and then you open up the bracket or open up the bracket and then apply the limit you will get 3b plus 3 you can check it you'll get this one for for your right hand limit and this for the left hand limit and it's been told that right hand limit and left hand limit is same because they are continuous Okay, how do you get it? Okay, f of f of uh, three. What are we going to do here? F of three. F of three. Which function you will take? Equal equate. Ah, huh? you do equal to sign variable. Right? Equality sign variable. Right? So this function you apply three. So it will be a uh, three a plus one. So you got here three a plus one. You got here three a plus one. Then this is different. So you already know that what is the general. Generally, what we are looking into when it is 
when you are gonna find for continuous you need to know that or you need to find this is the general address right? c minus f of x should be equal to limit extending to c plus f of x where c is any point here yeah that is equal to f of c i right so these three are same so in that case now I am asked to find the relationship between A and B. A and B in the relation I can do the So I can take here 3A 3A plus 1 and rather than writing the whole thing, you can take this one. 3A plus 1 is equal to 3B plus 3. 3B plus 3 na can So in that way I can get the relation between A and B. So A and B were in the random term equate here. Then Need to write in terms of a or in terms of b you can write it so here okay a in delta ideal 3a this one will go that side and it will be minus one which implies 3a is equal to 3b plus 2 here then if you divide by like you want to get 3 you need to divide both the sides by 3 so 3 and 3 get cancelled here 3b by 2 by 3 this is what you can write a is equal to b plus this will be getting cancelled right and here 2 by 3 so this is what the relationship what you are looking forward for so a is equal to b plus 3 2 by 3 fine so this is the answer for 17th question on to 18th question for what value of lambda is a function defined by f lambda into x square minus 2x if x is less than 0 okay if it is less than 0 0 if x is less than 0 what is the function there lambda into x square minus 2x yeah and if it is greater than 0 0 negative value it is 4x plus 1 continuous at x is equal to 0 so what will be the value of lambda fine so let's see so at x is equal to 0 is what i'm checking right now fine as in the lhn limit extending to what 0 in the e left in the so 0 minus f of x is equal to <coughs> limit h tends to 0 yeah h tends to 0 then f of 0 minus h 0 minus h so that will give me what limit h tends to 0 and the function here is like the function lambda into this thing right so lambda into x in a minus h so minus h the whole square okay i will write it minus h the whole square minus 2 into minus h find here the minus h anything else nothing yes that is equal to limit h tends to 0 yeah lambda into and i would have h square yeah minus h into minus h is h square this one when you multiply you will get 2h fine and when you apply it what i'm gonna get here is 0 I got here 0 man and value of the lambda error. it could be anything but the complete thing is gonna be 0 it's no value here now if you check your right hand limit okay I would like to know limit extending to 0 plus f of x is equal to limit h tending to 0 yeah uh, then f of 0 0 plus h 0 plus h you have three point plus h onto the right side that is equal to limit h tending to 0 now what i'm what i'm supposed to do i want to find that function which is greater than 0 so greater than 0 that is 4x so it will be 4 into x in the side lambda is in the h h uh, only h right yeah h plus 1 so when you apply it it's gonna give me 1 so can this be this is equal no dear 
it is not equal so that means it is not continuous even fine so your left hand limit what is it like 0 minus f of x is not equal to your limit at so but you are not here to check like um, continuous at x of 0 so if it is not continuous even oh, how could you find that uh, lambda here yeah? and here I cannot find that lambda because ultimately it is coming what value is 0 itself so what you can conclude here by writing therefore there is no value of for lambda which um, for which so there is no value for lambda for which f is continuous at x is equal to 0 Number the question, the the right hand limit, left hand limit, equal to okay, you would be able to get a relation there, right? A, a, a relation. Now, should you have two variables, 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 you what we will do in this question is now where one le. Apo one le no kai nye nye, over here somewhere over here right one le. Apo one le check kiri nye nye the left hand side le and the right hand side le you are gonna get the same value here yeah and the uh, like function same function le we use here it is like x is greater than zero but greater than zero no chhi nye greater than zero this this particular function the channel 1 in less than l but you will still use this function more than 1 or greater than 1 obviously the same function itself so normally we have LHL no here limit x tending to 1 minus from the left side of 1 if I check it it's gonna give me limit h tending to 0 yeah h tending to 0 f of 1 minus h that will give me limit h tending to 0 f of x like greater than so what is the function here it's gonna be like this so 4 into x in a bagara 1 minus h 1 minus h plus 1 so when you apply the limit like 4 now to multiply the limit apply limit you'll be getting 4 plus 1 4 plus 1 that is gonna be 5 then you get a 5 alright no care what I'm gonna get here is limit x tending to 1 plus f of x is equal to limit h tending to okay h tending to 0 yeah then f of 1 plus h 1 plus h that is equal to limit h tending to 0 even uh, the same function where I will be applying 1 plus h to x so 4 into 1 plus h plus 1 that will give me amala alta author multiply it apply chamber you will get the same thing 5 is that it the same thing now if i am going for f of 1 even either f of 1 f of 1 the same thing like the same function over here and if you if you if you apply it over there 4 into 1 plus 1 so it's again gonna be giving me 5 right now r5 if i at 1 in the same function itself right okay so that is the case here right even though if it is not defined over there but now then there's a lambda everything over there what i can write here what i can conclude lambda over there upon with the case of lambda for any value Whatever may be the lambda value, lambda is not an issue. So, no matter what is the value of lambda, the continue of this one is not going to break. It will be still be continuous. So, for any value of lambda, f is continuous yeah, at x is equal to 1. So, its continuity stays remain there because lambda is not going to affect over here. Because, we have function function. 
ഈ ഒരു ഫംഗ്ഷനകത്ത് എവിടെ ലാംഡ വരുന്നത് വരുന്നേയില്ല അപ്പൊ ലാംഡ ഇറ്റ് നോട്ട് ഗോണ എഫക്ട് സോ നോ മാറ്റർ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ദ വാല്യൂ ഫോർ ലാംഡ ദ കണ്ടിന്യൂറ്റി ഓഫ് ദിസ് എക്സ് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു 1 അല്ലെങ്കിൽ 1 ഇൻടെ അവിടെയുള്ള ഒരു ഫംഗ്ഷന്റെ കണ്ടിന്യൂറ്റി എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് ഗോണ എഫക്ട് ബൈ ദിസ് ലാംഡ സോ നോ മാറ്റർ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ലാംഡ കൻ ഹാവ് എനി എനി നമ്പർ ഓഫ് വാല്യൂസ് ഓർ എനി വാല്യൂ ഫൈൻ so on to the next one 19 on to 19th question show that the function defined by g of x is equal to x minus box x is discontinuous at all integral points here box x denote the greater integer less than or equal to x so show that g of x is what g of x is equal to x minus box x so that is what uh, we need to uh, show here that it is discontinuous at all the integral points all the points there so uh, we so uh, in the basic concept and then which in your life we don't have any uh, point the makilla a point like like we can use a variable and you can use it and we can tell that that is an integral point like for example we are keeping a a no china or integral point at the number of the number of ഓക്കെ അങ്ങനെ എടുത്തു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ എ കുഡ് ബി പോസിറ്റീവ് ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് ബി എ കുഡ് ബി നെഗറ്റീവ് ഓക്കെ അപ്പൊ എ നെഗറ്റീവ് ആവാം പോസിറ്റീവ് ആവാം സോ ഫസ്റ്റ് വി വിൽ ട്രൈ ടു സോൾവ് ദ പോസിറ്റീവ് വൺസ് ആൻഡ് വി വിൽ സി ദാറ്റ് വെതർ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ലൈക്ക് വി ആർ ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ഡിസ്കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് ഓർ നോട്ട് പിന്നെ നമുക്ക് എ എന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നെഗറ്റീവ് ആണെന്ന് എടുത്തിട്ട് നമുക്ക് ഡിസ്കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് ആണെന്ന് നോക്കാം ഫൈൻ സോ ലെറ്റ്സ് ട്രൈ ദാറ്റ് വൺ ബട്ട് ബിഫോർ ദാറ്റ് ഐ ജസ്റ്റ് നീഡ് ടു മേക്ക് യു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് വട്ട് ഇസ് ദിസ് ബോക്സ് എക്സ് ഇതിന് നമ്മൾ ബോക്സ് എക്സ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഇറ്റ്സ് box x na namlu parayne okay basically um, we tell this x not bracket or anything like that box okay box x appo ivide parayittund it's a greater integer less than okay idu uh, pa greater integer function aanu like gif okay greater integer function aanu ivide choichirulla that means that idu endha parayna endana adinte meaning endha nu cheyyan ipo suppose x is equal to okay it is very very important here to understand this one if x is equal to or 2.9 um, something which one okay so what is box x you know what is the value of box x it is nothing but it is 2 why because less than or equal to na parayikkada equal to means x nu cheyyal ipa 2 aanundengil box x is 2x to itself okay pashe ivda ഏതൊരു പോയിന്റ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ടു പോയിന്റ് സംതിങ് എത്ര വലുതായിരുന്നാലും ത്രീ അല്ല ത്രീനെ കണ്ട് താഴത്തെ ഒരു വാല്യൂ ആണെങ്കിൽ യു വിൽ ഓൾവേസ് ഗെറ്റ് ടു ഫൈൻ ഇപ്പൊ സപ്പോസ് നമ്മളിപ്പം ഈ ഒരു പ്രോബ്ലത്തിൽ നമ്മൾ ചെയ്യുന്നതാണ് ഇപ്പൊ എക്സ് ഇസ് ഇക്വൽ ടു ഒരു വാല്യൂ എടുത്തു എന്താന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഇപ്പം ഓക്കെ ഫൈൻ എ എന്നെ എടുക്കാം ഓക്കെ എ എ മൈനസ് ഒരു ചെറിയൊരു വാല്യൂ ഒരു എച്ച് ഒ കെ ഒ ഒരു ചെറിയൊരു വാല്യൂ ലെസ് ആണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ബോക്സ് എക്സ് എന്താവും ബോക്സ് എക്സ് വിൽ ബി ദിസ് വിൽ ബി a ne gadi cheri or value koravana i don't know how much it is like this means that if a 2 minus 0.5 i know that it is 1.5 like that way 1 a minus cheri or value anengil idinde box x will be a minus 1 can you think over it a minus 1 that is the next integer value fine adana ivinda main importance first of all you need to understand what is this box x fine angane anengil nammoru poi the kaariyullu angane anengil namukku let's continue with if a is greater than 0 that means it's a positive integer anandundengil nammal engena cheyanana first nokkanda okay where a is an element of what your real number okay angane anengil let's see like whether this is continuous or not so namukku rendu limit namukku kandupidichu pogam okay okay l h limit x tending to a minus a is positive here if it would have been negative then i would have taken minus a means la no difference but this is a minus fine a minus because from the left side if there is a point a here from the side minus a minus then here the function is not f of x this is g of x here okay adakko or thodu ga ta endha verudhu namukku f of x f of x endu edi povan pettilla here it is g of x so it will be g of x that will be equal to limit now h tending to 0 okay h tending to 0 and it this will be a minus h a minus h and that will give you limit h tending to 0 h tending to 
then you have here e or sanathana number function nagat to do them x in the salad so it will be a minus h minus inside the box it is a minus h Alay. box nath x in the salad a minus h i'm gonna angle nani pum uh, okay what i can get here is limit h tending to 0 a minus h a minus h then minus of what that you need to understand here and what the concept or menu here a minus h is what a a minus 1 so at the end of the day in the cherry of the value coronet on the bank it will be the next integer okay less than so it is like a minus 1 Fine. I hope like you are getting the concept I think with the that box x what it is and in that case what I'm gonna get here is limit h tending to 0 and I do have what a minus h then I have here minus a plus 1 and this 2 will be cancelling and when I apply the limit I'm gonna get a value what 1 fine about other R R H L. Then here limit x tending to a plus g of x is equal to limit h tending to zero. What is it? The same thing, right? A plus h. That gives me limit h tending to zero. H tending to zero, and the same thing. E or U value na nyan ki x in the order So it will be a plus h minus box of a plus h. Find here a plus h. And which I'm gonna get here limit h tending to 0 a plus h. Here it will be a got a cherry value could well. Alright. If 2 it is then this is gonna be 2 point something, 2 point something. So the smallest integer is what? 2. So by a then a equal. it will be minus a. So you can cancel these and applying this. And what will be the value? It will be just 0 here. So are we gonna get that same? No. So your limit h tending to a minus g of x is not equal to limit x tending to a plus g of x. So what I can say here, therefore, it is discontinuous, continuous at all the integral, uh, integral points, all the integral points so all the integral points it is discontinuous so here what I what I did was I took all the positive numbers all the positive numbers are now to check here so let's check the next next one negative then a minus another number in the chain on the now number a is equal to uh, positive like uh, greater than zero number check here now a when it is uh, less than zero now this will be negative right negative yeah then LHL angle now let's see um, it will be limit x tending to minus a minus g of x is equal to limit h tending to 0 h tending to 0 uh, then g of x um, g of what it is it's gonna be a minus a minus a minus h minus a minus h and which then you write point that is your minus h right yes then that is equal to limit h tending to 0 now same thing if you put it inside that x in the center it will be minus a minus h minus inside box it will be minus a minus h fine that will be limit h tending to 0 minus a minus h then here it will be now look at here minus a minus h 
minus a minus h എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ എന്താണ് minus a എന്ന് ഒരു minus ഒരു ചെറിയ ഒരു ഇപ്പോൾ -1 ആണെങ്കിൽ ഒരു ചെറിയ ഒരു പോർഷൻ കുറവ് ഓക്കെ ചെറിയ ഒരു ചെറിയ ഒരു പോർഷൻ കൂടെ കുറവ് ഓൺ ടു ദ ലെഫ്റ്റ് സൈഡ് ഓക്കെ ഒരു ചെറിയ ഒരു കുറവ് വരുമ്പോൾ ലൈക്ക് വാട്ട് ഐ ആം ഗോണ ഗെറ്റ് ഹിയർ ഇസ് -ഇൻ സൈഡ് ദ ബ്രാക്കറ്റ് വാട്ട് ഐ ആം ഗോണ ഗെറ്റ് ഇസ് -a -1 ഓക്കെ -a -1 ഓക്കെ that will be that is equal to limit i hope this one is clear i think minus like ingotu nammal ingotu oru cheriya korava annu vachunu minus a a okay minus a ivide aanu minus cheriya oru oru minus korav ennu cheya it will shift to the next one right next integer which is minus 1 minus 1 right if for example if it is minus 1 minus 1 annu vachunu oru ipo oru cheriya oru value korav ചെറിയൊരു വാല്യൂ കുറവെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി യു മൈ തിങ്ക് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ലൈക് പോയിന്റ് നയൻ സംതിങ് നോ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ഓൺ ടു ദിസ് സൈഡ് യു ക്യാൻ ചെക്ക് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി മൈനസ് വൺ പോയിന്റ് സീറോ സീറോ ഫൈവ് ഓർ സംതിങ് ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് അങ്ങനെ ആണെങ്കിൽ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ഷിഫ്റ്റിംഗ് ടോട്ട് ഓൺ ടു ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഇൻറ്റീജർ ലെസ് ദാൻ ഇൻറ്റീജർ സോ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി മൈനസ് ടുവിലോട്ട് പോകും അല്ലെ വൺ മൈനസ് സോ അങ്ങനെ വൺ മൈനസ് എ മൈനസ് വണ്ണിലോട്ട് പോകും സോ ദാറ്റ് വിൽ ഗിവ് മീ h tending to zero here it is minus a minus h this will be plus a then plus 1 so this will get cancelled when you apply the limit what i'm going to get here is one again in this place okay one then rhl limit x tending to minus a plus g of x is equal to limit h tending to zero here it's going to be amla eda point minus a minus a plus h that will give me limit h tending to zero here function la namlu g of x na x na salathu ittal endu vettum it's going to be uh, minus a plus h minus your box function x na salathu minus a plus h അപ്പം മൈനസ് എ പ്ലസ് എച്ച് ആയിരുന്നാലും തിരിച്ച് ഏതിൽ തന്നെ വരും മൈനസ് എയിൽ തന്നെ വരും സോ വോട്ട് ആർ ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ഹിയർ ഇസ് ലിമിറ്റ് എച്ച് ടെൻഡിങ് ടു സീറോ മൈനസ് എ പ്ലസ് എച്ച് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് വിൽ ബി മൈനസ് എ ഓക്കെ ദിസ് വിൽ ബി മൈനസ് എ ബിക്കോസ് പ്ലസ് കൂടുതലാണ് ഓക്കെ കൂടുതൽ അപ്പൊ ഓൺ ടു ദിസ് സൈഡ് സോ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ബാക്ക് ടു ദ സെയിം ഇൻഡിച്ചർ സോ ഈ സൈഡിലാണെങ്കിൽ it will be back to the same integer minus 1 le thana tirichu varum adey pole adey pole here it will be minus a minus into minus plus so here you can cancel it and apply the limit you are going to get value what 0 so 0 and 1 is not continuous here so therefore limit x tending to minus a minus g of x is not equal to limit x tending to minus a plus g of x so they are not same so what i can conclude here therefore the function is is discontinuous at all the integral points fine dear all the integral points fine so ഇങ്ങനെയാണ് നമ്മൾ ഇതിനെ പ്രൂവ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഫൈൻ ഇസ് ദ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഡിഫൈൻഡ് ബൈ എഫ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് എക്സ് സ്ക്വയർ മൈനസ് എക്സ് സ്ക്വയർ മൈനസ് സൈൻ എക്സ് പ്ലസ് ഫൈവ് കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് അറ്റ് എക്സ് ഇസ് ഗോൾഡ് പൈ അപ്പൊ നമുക്ക് ഈ ഒരു ക്വസ്റ്റ്യനില് ചോദിക്കുന്ന ഈസ് ദ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ എന്ന് ചോദിച്ചിരിക്കുന്നത് എന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ആണോ എന്നുള്ളത് ഗിവ് ദ റീസൺസ് ലൈക്ക് Uh, that will do like namaku bayangara irunnittu prove cheythu namaku lhs um lhl um rhl um kandupidichittu adu continuous angana namal cheyanda avashyam illa because uh, i think like 20th and 21st question is like that hmm? so here we need to just uh, discuss why like um, why it should be continuous at x is equal to pi now if i write the function again f of x is equal to uh, what is it x square um, minus sin x plus 5 plus 5 right x square minus sin x plus 5 now in this one okay or kaaryam nokka idu continuous ana namukku ingane pettanu namukku parayan pattum like can i rearrange this function f of x 
and I can write it like this x square plus 5 these two together yeah minus sin x over here yeah okay now what is this one this is nothing but this is a this is a polynomial function isn't it it's a polynomial function and whereas this one sin uh, it's a trigonometric function so it is continuous sin is like this so it is always continuous and whereas polynomial is concerned polynomial is also continuous now. so uh, do you remember uh, the properties what we have learned that um, I have I have discussed with you like f of x continues on a either continues on a gil g of x um, another function which is again it is continuous is it like these two are continuous now this one is again continuous the continuous on because it's a polynomial function this is again continuous because it's sine wave is continuous it's trigonometric function all the trigonometric function is continuous uh, but we will do the exceptions uh, later okay and actually exceptions that we will do it okay and this the property what we have learned is if this is continuous and this is continuous if, if it is plus or if it is minus then you will get a function which is again continuous right here so polynomial so you can write like polynomial function is continuous sin x trigonometric function is continuous therefore the whole function therefore f of x is continuous at x is equal to y find it it's very easy right so this is just to discuss to let you know that okay now this is a polynomial function it is continuous all the polynomial function is continuous trigonometric yes definitely function continuous so these two combine together like it's a minus here again it is combined right even if it is a plus it is a minus or even if it is multiplication division yes we have done it so it's continuous again what the function what i am getting is function is a continuous right then on to the 21st question then yes this 21st question discuss the continuity of the following function this is again discussed here we don't need to do too hard for these um, now a is equal to f of x is equal to sin x plus cos x Allah. b is equal to sin x minus cos x sin into cos x is the third one now what the same thing which i have discussed in the 20th question here so again all these things if you see it's all what trigno isn't it all these are trigonometric functions so what you can say this is continuous so f of like if i say if i say like or h of x or anything if f of x is continuous plus g of x is continuous so both are if they are continuous then what you are getting that particular function is also continuous right so f of x here is continuous same case over here f of x is continuous like if it this one is f of x if the if this one is f of x or g of x then if these two are continuous then f minus f of x minus g of x what you are getting is again that one is also continuous here fine if suppose like you you might be getting confused like f of x to f of x like it's just to make you understand that's it like for this case like if i'm taking h of x if i'm in h of x I'm into g of x okay if they are if this one is continuous and this function is continuous and what you are multiplying and getting is something that particular function is again that one is continuous so f of x is continuous fine so that was just the property what we are using here and we are just discussing about it here that's it and anyway, anyway these three functions is trigonometric functions and all are continuous so in this case sine and cos obviously it is continuous so we don't need to discuss further it's continuous then move on to the second 22nd then 22nd question discuss the continuity of all these functions there so we will check it one by one okay uh, first one is cosine okay cosine and then 
cosine is nothing but your sine your cos function dear cosine now cos is a trigonometric function and as you know that it is continuous at all the real numbers all real numbers lum cos nu parayunnathu is continuous any problem yeah so it is continuous everywhere so cos nu parayunnathu namukku ariyam alle graph engena varune cos ingena nu povu cos is continuous so you don't need to think twice cos is always continuous fine then adutha edana cosecant cosecant and then cosecant cosecant is 1 by sin okay 1 by sin right and 1 by sin sin nu varana sana if uh, like you can think like this nammala like f of f of x by g of x nu varunnittu melatha continuous ana thaalathey continuous ana pashe pashe adinathu oru kaaryam undayirunnu except at this particular value should not be zero right if it is like cosine x or the value of x or x must not be zero alle ee x vandittu zero avan vendi paadilla so the entire function will become zero so that is not defined so that won't be continuous alle so ee oru sadhanam namakku vandittu thaalathathu it must not be like that means to say that g of x must not be equal to zero fine adu eppada varune okay sin x eppada na zero il avune like sin x uh, is the sin x should not be zero right if this one should not be zero so that means you are this should not be zero that means x should not be n pi n pi avan vendi paadilla n pi undayirunnu ipo suppose this n is zero so the whole thing becomes zero if it is one then this pi right sin pi is again zero so all those things becomes make this denominator zero so except this value all the other okay is continuous fine it's continuous everywhere except this particular value dear except at this particular value it is not continuous fine then the third one your secant sec yeah sec is what 1 by cos if it is x then again what i have told you like this become this function is continuous and this is again continuous but you just need to make sure that the denominator this cos x must not be zero so your g of x again uh, must not be equal to zero it shouldn't be zero fine so in that case like cos x shouldn't be zero at what value zero le amba adu one now in this case like zero would apply to it cos zero is one that is continuous but say when it comes to this particular value so when x is equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 it's not continuous there for example like odd multiples of pi by 2 okay odd multiples of your pi by 2 it it could be be like um, this is equal to zero in all the odd multiples odd multiples in the earlier question i said what do you mean by that like if it is zero then complete term become this one term become zero that will be y pi by 2 is 90 cos 90 is zero so this complete term become zero if it is 2 2 2s are 4 4 plus 1 5 right so in that case again one apply to them so it becomes odd multiples there so odd multiples of pi by 2 in this case except except when x is equal to this particular value all the other value the function is continuous fine you got a idea i think in the next one a tangent cotangent cot right cotangent namukku engena edan pattiya cos x by sin x right because tan is sin by cos so cot is cos by sin again the function should be or will be continuous where if this function that means 
sin x is not equal to 0 at that time uh, all the other time like except it is it becomes 0 all the other time uh, it is continuous at all the real numbers except your x must not be equal to n pi the same case as over here okay all the others other time it's gonna be continuous here fine so these four functions are just what I have discussed right now that is how the continuity goes in all these four functions fine Apo, at the 23rd then 23rd question find all the points of discontinuity of f where f of x is equal to in an end function now when x is less than 0 sin x by x when x is greater than or equal to 0 then it is x plus 1 so we need to find all the point of discontinuity now we continuous all the points where it is discontinuous if it is continuous then there are discontinuous check point check where the function defined break the function f of x is it is 0 so but a zero. Zero is actually the function is changing there at zero. Yeah. Zero less than zero and the function sin x by x. So it's again like trigonometric, like if you are looking at this is actually continuous. This is continuous. Sin x by x continuous and because trigonometric function by polynomial function, it's continuous there. All the in all the real numbers, and whereas the other number also is a polynomial function and that too is continuous so this side on to the right side of the zero it's continuous and on to the left side of the zero it is continuous so if there is a discontinuity that will be only at the point zero dear so we need to only check the zero once like about zero and we check whether it is discontinuous or not in all the other points it is continuous so let's check at 0 so at x is equal to 0 limits are continuous okay on both the sides so you are LHS LHL on to the right hand side limit x is now tending to 0 from the minus so when it goes to this side if I check f of x is equal to now you are used to it I think now you know it thoroughly like how to do this one now that is equal to limit h tending to 0 and that function is what at that point is 0 0 minus h h that is equal to limit h tending to 0 now this thing you need to put it inside the function and that to this side x minus 0 x minus 0 for e function so it will be uh, what will be that sine x in the salatu we need to substitute this 0 minus h by 0 minus h like 0 minus h that is equal to limit okay, I will write one more that is going to be sin minus h by minus h what is sin of minus per sin of minus theta it is minus sin theta like you have studied that one in trigonometry yeah Pasha, cos of minus theta no chinya, it is cos theta you still remember those okay about other chitanya it will be nothing but limit h tending to zero it will be minus sine h by h now here is other minus h right okay so minus and minus get cancelled and okay i'm right here that is equal to limit h tending to 0 sin h by h now you are getting something this we have learned in your 11th your plus 1 but it's tended. so it's gonna be 1 this value is 1 now your RHL limit x tending to x tending to 0 plus f of x is equal to limit h tending to 0 here 0 plus h 0 plus h 
and the function what I will be using here will be this this time because it is greater than yes greater than number either upper x in a certain and is apply chamber 0 plus h is h itself so I can write h plus 1 so limit apply chamber again the value what I am getting is so here is 1 and this one is 1 so let's see one more point the last point to check whether it is continuous discontinuous or not so here it says discontinuous I'm gonna check in so let's check which point f of 0 f of 0 number check in so I could able to see that which one like if I equal to equal equal to sign above this function is what I'm gonna take here 0 apply chamber it's again 1 no doubt about it so can you see these three are one so as you know that your limit uh, x tending to 0 minus f of x is equal to f of 0 is equal to limit x tending to 0 plus f of x so all these are then you know that it is continuous so you know it right but the point over here is not to show this one this is not what you need to show you need to tell that when this is equal so it is obviously continuous so we cannot see any point of discontinuous of this function here so the function is function is continuous at all the integral points so all the integral points this function is continuous so you cannot get any point of discontinuity fine Okay, then on to 24th question. So 24th question. Determine if f defined by determine if f defined by f is equal to x square sine x1 by x if x is not equal to 0. 0 if x is equal to 0. So and is continuous function on the number check chicken. And first of all, if you have a question, you can just take 10 to 20 seconds and just take a look at it. Okay, then you would finish off your question within 2 minutes. That's these type of questions. Limit in that. If you take 20 seconds, the rest is very easy here. And then we can check the continuity of these functions. Break on the select. So now where it is breaking, it is breaking at zero. So it's over here. And it's been said that when it is not equal to you are having onto this side as well as onto this side, you have the same function here. And what is the function? X square sine 1 by x L I 1 by x. Apo just think it okay. Okay, now fine. And also at this point, it's given that it is zero. It is zero under the term. So now continuous ano ille nala namko prove ye nala. As it goes, as it goes, um, you need to you need to know that or you need to show that your left hand limit, your right hand limit, as well as at that point. That means now at zero. Ille, it moonum same value ano kitten na noki ganiya. It is continuous, right? That is a simple method. What we are trying to do, or we will do it now. Okay. Function, before that, like normally your function no kumbo x square in the like x square in the chinal number and the item our function at the h tend to no button to zero and I did the number h in the number our function applies here no kum about in the no out of it in the okay if a zero on a monarchy h tend to zero no one in your number zero element h our x in the salad the number item uh, 0 minus h or is 0 plus uh, simple I think and pardon you know, just on all okay minute if you do it you will get it but to, just to make you understand that 0 you will get 0 on the e side lola a the point with the lender number to connect 0 plus h in the color and to 0 on the e per the side lola number point to come in the reconnect 0 minus h in a letter and that to connect on a look in a letter and that to connect I'm going to end that to come over you are getting like minus h or h here that means when you apply it over here and when h is now tending to 0 we will apply chamber this complete term becomes 0 so 0 into any number becomes 0 itself so with the function when you see itself you need to know that whether it is continuous or not if you get a logic then it will be very easy you will, you, your concept will be a lot more clear okay okay fine if you are not if you are not or if you are not getting anything from this one leave it 
we will do step by step fine okay nammal step by step cheyidinal nammal lhl nammal nokkan vendi povana where okay limit extending to 0 minus ivadu 0 nu angotu povumbo negative nu angotu povumbo f of x that is equal to the e step nammal appo eduthunnille h tending to 0 and this becomes 0 minus h find it idu rendu nu eludi that is equal to limit h tending to 0 nammal ee oru function nammal x ivide evade aanu idu thanne aanu edukkendathu alle because on to not equal to 0 illa nu cheyal ainda right side lum left side lum this is the function so when you take this function or take this particular value of x or value and put it inside x endu varum it's going to be h square because minus okay yeah. yani yani pa step by step eduthu varu to minus h the whole square sin 1 by minus h fine 1 by minus h that obviously you know that when you are applying this limit okay find one more h is equal to h tending to 0 h square sin okay if i'm minus now okay fine leave it just i'm just keeping it like this 1 by minus h okay okay when you apply your h what i'm gonna get because if it is there is 0 0 by any number is what 0 into any number is 0 itself so this value is 0 fine now we are going to limit h this time from the positive side f of x is equal to limit h tending to 0 f of 0 plus h Okay, 0 plus h, you write a point plus h over here. 0 plus h that is equal to idinatum. We are using which function? The same function, dear. This one to the same function, this one. Where you need to apply this value to x, this I will get like this. Okay, same kitum. When you apply again 0. 0 into any number is 0 itself. So, here also you are getting 0. Then, continue to check in one more, which is no doubt over here that f of 0 no change. Already it is given this 0. So, this is 0. So, as you know that limit x tending to 0 minus f of x is equal to limit x tending to 0 plus f of x is equal to f of 0. Therefore, the function is continuous at x is equal to 0 or all all the integral or all the all the domain either one that function is continuous here fine so there is no double thoughts because break on the 0 in the and then our name continues on the so it's going to be continuous everywhere fine okay then moving on to the 25th question now 25th question Examine the continuity of f where f is defined by okay. I would have number um every other zero and I'm gonna check here because that is the place where I'm not normal routine like f every and break and the zero and break in the zero now it's been said that at zero it is minus one so here point till it is minus one the function is minus one and both the other sides this side and this side right and left what is the function? Here it is sin x minus cos x. Fine. Okay, sin x minus cos x. Um fine. Either I'm checking. Let's go ahead. Now the first one. On to the left hand limit. Okay, your left hand limit. Limit x tending to 0, 0 from the negative side. So from here we check to 0 loader tending to 0 f of x is equal to like normal normal process the same thing mandatory you need to write it when h is h tending to 0 this f of 0 minus h that is equal to what limit h tending to 0 now you need to put this value to that function where that belongs to like this is on to the left side right so you'll be using this one so sine and then we're going to 
sin of minus h because 0 minus h is 0 and control minus h minus cos of uh, cos of what cos of minus h mind you so that's okay clear now this one you can also like this limit is for entire stuff this whole thing if even even if you want you can split it also like limit h tending to 0 okay now if you want to apply you apply it okay namke okay. ivada apply cheyalanki 0 apply cheyidinal like it's okay no problem okay you can get it um okay uh, one more step i will write it so this one would give me minus sin h nerthe the problem that we discussed earlier sin of minus theta is nothing but minus sin theta alle and it's a cos theta irunja endha parna cos of minus theta is cos theta itself fine angane anengil ivide endu varum minus cos h minus is already there avada alla minus enna aanu and the cos minus h h here fine now if you want you can split this limit for 2 and then you can substitute for h and i'm just applying and you know that it's going to be like sin of 0 is going to be 0 sin 0 0 then cos 0 is 1 so that will be uh, it will be 0 minus 1 because cos 0 is 1 so minus 1 so this is giving me a value minus 1 so even if you check it over here chalo ivada namaku minus 1 undi now let's hope that the rhs also get the same thing rhs limit extending to 0 plus f of x nammal cheyidal that will give me limit h tending to 0 h is tending to 0 from here okay it is tending to 0 f of 0 plus h because that point is 0 plus h ivra ee side la plus h and when you apply it inside it is going to be limit h tending to 0 the same function you need to apply this thing over there in x so that will give me sin of h x in a salt h minus cos of h again you apply the zero here or to h then you apply the limit what i'm going to get zero minus 1 i'm going to get the same value minus 1 so therefore now what i'm getting here limit x tending to zero minus f of x is equal to limit x tending to 0 plus f of x is equal to f of 0 it's asked to examine so yes i examined it i got these three things same so i can say that the function is continuous at x is equal to 0 find here so i got this one so this was your 25th question So moving on 26th. Okay, on to 26th question. Apo, um, I think take 26th to the 29th. Where all the questions, all I'm saying that now you are supposed to find the value of k here. Find the value of k so that the function f is continuous at the indicated point. So in this point, 26th question, the indicated point is x is equal to pi by 2. Okay, x is equal to pi by 2. Now you need to be very sure of these trigonometric functions as well as the those values and all dear what is like 90 minus theta uh, like sin 90 minus theta what is cos 90 minus theta all these functions values you need to know well okay uh, or else if you don't know just memorize it a bit um i'm telling you to memorize because they, these ones and all like you have uh, learned a bit before dear maybe like in your uh, in your 10th or after your 10th or 11th you have learned this. so അപ്പോൾ അങ്ങനെ നിങ്ങൾ ഇതൊക്കെ പഠിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് എനിക്ക് എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നു ജസ്റ്റ് ഇഫ് യു ഡോ നോ ആൻഡ് ജസ്റ്റ് കീപ് ദാറ്റ് വൺ ഇൻ യുവർ മൈൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ദിസ് വാല്യൂ ഇസ് ദിസ് ഓക്കെ ബട്ട് ഫൈൻ ഞാൻ ഇഫ് യു ഡോ നോ ജസ്റ്റ് സീ ദിസ് വൺ ആൻഡ് മേക്ക് ഷുവർ ദാറ്റ് യു ഗെറ്റ് ദോസ് കൺസെപ്റ്റ് റൈറ്റ് ആൻഡ് കീപ് ദാറ്റ് വൺ ഇൻ യുവർ മൈൻഡ് ഫൈൻ ഓക്കെ ഇത് കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് ആണ് നമ്മൾ പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് ദ ലോജിക്ക് ഇസ് വെരി സിമ്പിൾ ഓവർ ഹിയർ നമ്മൾ എങ്ങനെ തന്നെ ലിമിറ്റ് നമ്മൾ ചെക്ക് ചെയ്താലും യു വിൽ ബി ഗെറ്റിംഗ് എ ടോം വിത്ത് കെ എനിക്ക് നമുക്ക് um we get three cases right namla left hand limit nokum right hand limit nokum and that that point nokum ivada a point edanu pi by 2 so you very well know that it is continuous nu parnittundu so one thing what you need to keep in your mind is that if i am taking limit 
x tending to uh, pi by 2 will be pi by 2 minus f of x it will be equal to f of pi by 2 just just keep that put that concept in your mind and whereas the pi by 2 over here is like value is 3 so from end then we will get the value that is will be equal to 3 whether you take the left hand side or right hand side no problem but i will i will make sure that like i will do both here okay now if i am taking your lhl okay what i'm gonna get here uh, it will be the next steps are gonna be the same almost everything that is mandatory where now x is now tending to what what is that point here here the point that i'm check here pi by 2 well, pi by 2 x is okay not equal to e side lum, e side lum, the function is the first one at that particular point it's gonna be 3 upon our point it is 3 but other two sides it's gonna be the first function and the child limit to number and decide to put him and then e function I use the end and after 0 what is that point pi by 2 f of x is equal to limit h tending to 0 here f of this becomes that point is pi by 2 pi by 2 in the point is uh, minus this is your left hand side so pi by 2 minus so it will be minus then what h this side pi by 2 minus h e point is there fine then what now then that is equal to limit h tending to 0 and you need to substitute this value in this first function Remember the left hand side and right hand side will be function function k then cos x in the power of pi by 2 minus h by pi minus 2 into pi by 2 minus h the way students will up question fast enough think here like now itself they apply the limit and all those stuff and they they just fully confused there yeah? And they will get some some other value if you apply a limit now first of all you need to simplify it solve it to a much smaller value then apply that limit if we have limit further at the step h tending to 0 fine then k is there itself then cos 90 minus h what is cos 90 minus h another area cos pi by 2 or 90 minus theta is equal to sin theta fine cos 90 minus theta is sin theta that you have learned long before so k into this will be giving me a value sin what h sin h by over here when you multiply inside i will write step by step okay minus now 2 will be getting inside 2 into pi by 2 minus and minus becomes plus so it will be 2h where this 2 and 2 get cancelled you will get pi and pi then those two things also will get cancelled and what you get here is limit h tending to 0 k sin h by 2h find here yes and now from there what i can write k is a constant as well as 2 is a constant i'm taking it out and what you have there is limit h tending to 0 sin h by h and uh, we have seen this one earlier right the whole thing becomes what 1 so this answer is k by 2 k by 2 is my answer here now i can like rem i don't want to do the right hand limit there even okay because number left hand limit i can go at this particular point and you can say that k is equal to i can say directly like what and if you are done with this one i can say that your limit extending to what pi by 2 minus f of x is equal to because the continuous on the parent continuous on the parent so that the function is continuous and then e value will be equal to what f of pi by 2 right pi by 2 so in that case what i can write here is yeah uh, this one as yeah this one already i got a value which is k by 2 that is equal to now this is like pi by 2 
pi by 2 which is already I have a value 3 so I can write here 3 which implies okay which implies k is gonna be 6 so I can write like this way and I can get the answer fine I can get this answer but if suppose if you have not taken the left hand limit but if you have taken the right hand limit then I would do the right hand limit too so limit x tending to pi by 2 plus f of x is equal to limit h tending to 0 f of pi by 2 this time plus h that is equal to limit h tending to and okay now limit h tending to 0 then here k into cos pi by 2 this time it is plus h x in by l x in by l another layer than i just by then pi in 2 into pi by 2 plus h that will give me limit h tending to 0 then what is that k now cos cos 90 plus theta is nothing but minus sine theta okay minus sine theta so this one will be okay, I will write here minus sine h by pi into 2 pi by 2 this will get cancelled and the pi and pi also and multiplied inside it will be 2 h minus 2 h so that will be limit h tending to 0 then this will be like minus and minus okay now I will reduce it later by minus 2h so here that minus and minus get cancelled and what you are getting the same thing overall here what you got k by 2 limit h tending to 0 sin h by h that is equal to this whole thing will become 1 so it will be k by 2 so are we getting the same thing over here dear so we will understand the same one I am going to get to e step okay then we can write what is the value of k fine this is how you find the value of k fine then the 27th the same thing like what do you need to find here you need to find the value of k k is what you need to find okay k is what you need to find how how can you find it same thing you need to find the limits and you know that it is continuous at x is equal to 2 so at 2 limit on the left side of the 2 or right side of 2 what the value what you are getting is gonna be equal to that value at 2 fine yes let's see like what, what we are gonna get here and as I have told you think 2 is my the place where it is, it is said to be continuous x is less than or equal to so at the time over here which function you need to use kx square is what you need to use if you are going the other way if x is greater than 2 it is given that all the way down here it is 3 fine and it is not given at that particular function okay at 2 what is uh, it's not given fine no problem now find here now the first one lh lhl if i'm gonna find it then limit x tending to 2 minus from this side from 2 minus f of x is gonna be equal to limit h tending to 0 h tending to 0 f of this will be 2 minus h right here 2 minus h that will give me limit h tending to 0 and this value you need to put it now you have you are doing 27th question here now you must be very thorough with what i am doing right now okay you must need to have that concept of what i am doing it what i am doing with this h and uh, this minus sign and all those stuffs fine and i learn on like please refer back it and if you have any any queries and after that too please do reply me and ask me at any point of time i will i will be so happy to help you okay okay guys like move on then h tending to 0 then f of 2 minus h this 2 minus h will go here because it is less than less than x is less than 2 so 
k will be there and x square will be 2 minus h the whole square fine what you can do is that you can expand it and you can do it no problem with that and if i'm trying to expand it and i'm doing it then it will be something like this limit h tending to 0 yeah and k into like expanding it will give me a minus b the whole square will be 4 minus 4h plus h square yeah and multiplying inside and applying the limit if you are doing it simultaneously like at the same time then multiplying inside and with the h term h will term will be going this term will go and this term will go and multiplying inside you will get what 4k is what i'm getting and you know that now itself you can go further you can just write that left hand limit is equal to right hand limit because it is continuous and then you can write k is equal to okay what you can do it okay also like if you are um, fine yeah and if you are finding it if you are finding it f of what f at 2 you're going for that function right the same thing because that equal to sign is over there equal to sign is over now the is function then it is over then 2 applies it and there is a bit to 2 square like k into 2 square that will be 4k I'm getting the same thing man. okay so I know that since okay the function is continuous at 2 okay 2 will is a continuous I or the wonder what I can write limit any any two you can take and compare it so you can say that uh, limit x tending to 2 minus okay and you know that if it is greater than it is 3 okay f of x you can write this one is equal to limit x of 2 plus f of x that you can take either this one you can take or else you can take f of 2 is equal to limit x tending to 2 plus f of x so any two you can take it and you can put the value so both the cases it will be the same it will be 4k is equal to 3 because your arch is 3 here because when you write it if you don't know no it's not the case that you don't know it and if you write it it will be such like this limit x tending to 2 plus f of x that is equal to limit x tending to no h tending to 0 h tending to 0 f of h uh, 0 plus h not 0 here 2 like render the point 2 plus h then where the other than the other 2 plus h then that function will apply chamber ultimately you are gonna get 3 because you have 3 matter like silla result to so 3 then you have to use it otherwise you know that it is going to be 3 so 4k is equal to 3 this is what the prime thing what I wanted from that what I can write the value of k is what 3 by 4 so this is what we wanted fine yes so I think it is pretty much clear the 26th and 27th minus 9th so till 9th 29th it's easier okay let's do one by one 28 28th question f of x is equal to kx plus 1 if x is less than or equal to pi cos x is equal to uh, cos x if x is greater than pi so what is the point here over here x is equal to pi and again what i want to find here the value of k the point what is given here is pi so just do the same thing there let's let it let's do it fast then limit the left hand limit tending to pi minus from here to pi f of x is equal to limit h tending to 0 f of uh, that point pi minus h because the point is over here which is pi minus h that is equal to limit h tending to 0 and if I am substituting the value what I am going to get pi minus h I am going to substitute where uh, the left side so x is less than so this one so k into x divided 
5 minus h plus 1. Fine, isn't it? Minus 1. That is equal to, if I multiply it, I am just writing it, you don't need to. So, I will do k pi, then this will be like kh plus 1. Now, applying the limit and what I am going to get here is, very simple, k pi plus 1. Fine, this is what I am getting here. Then, um, then let's see like, then if I am going for finding f of pi, what I am going to get? k into, apa e functional, same, because equal to, for k into pi plus 1. So, I am going to get the same thing. So, now what? You need to find the right hand limit, RH. That will be limit, now I am going to see it from this side. So, limit extending to pi plus f of x is equal to limit h tending to 0 f of pi plus h this time. Because, we have number function, which is going to be pi plus h. That is equal to limit h tending to 0, h tending to 0. This one, you need to substitute like x is greater than, e greater than all of the this is what your function is, a cos x. Cos of x in the salatha, pi plus h. Now the thing for you to understand here is what is cos pi plus h. Pi plus h and down the man's lap. Now we have like cos pi and the children 180. 180 plus h is number there the participant. It is minus cos theta or you would have theta and angular. It's going to be theta. 180 plus theta is minus cos theta. Fine. So, what I'm getting here is um, limit h tending to 0 minus cos theta. Minus cos theta. When you apply it, it's going to be 1. So, the answer is minus 1. Because minus already under cos 0 is 1. So, minus 1. Fine. So it's pretty much simple then. So as you know that it is continuous at, it is continuous, right? Continuous at pi. What I'm gonna write? I'm gonna take like limit, any one of these. Like, or if you want to take limit, it's limit. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna compare left and right limit then. x pi minus f of x is equal to limit x tending to pi plus f of x okay so you know these two are gonna be same so what i can write from here so if these two are same what i can write is i can write that its value is this which is 4 pi uh, k pi k pi plus 1 and what is your right hand limit value that is minus 1 so this is equal to minus 1 which implies which implies Okay, pi k is equal to, this will go all the way down here, that will be minus 1. So, minus 1 and minus 1 will be minus 2. Minus 2. So, which implies k is equal to minus 2 by pi. So, this is your answer for the 20th question. Right here. Then, moving on to the 29th. 29th question. If f of x is equal to uh, k x plus 1, if x is less than or equal to 5 if x is more than 5 then it is 3x minus 5 and it's given that it is continuous at x is equal to 5 that means at 5 you need to calculate the value of k here right okay dear this is the last question to find the value of k okay and uh, maybe i don't know like 30th okay let's see like 29th in this one is again like we don't waste any time, just we know that like it's at 5, you need to check. Go ahead with the limit. Limit, your left hand limit. Left hand limit, your limit, x tending to 5 minus f of x is equal to limit, h tending to 0, yeah, this h tending to 0. Um, f of x, what I can write here, f of x f into now this time the point is 5 so 5 minus h 
that will be equal to limit h tending to 0 h tending to 0 this function will go where when x is less than 5 so less than 5 what is the function what you need to use here kx plus 1 and when it is greater than then that would be 3x minus 5 so these two functions make sure you have that one in your mind here so less than x is less than 5 that is more okay now so that will be this function so k into what is the value of x x is now 5 minus k 5 minus k plus 1 which in turn gives you k h tending to 0 if you multiply inside i don't want to write it okay fine Every single time, like I'm going to parry, I'm going to end it. Okay, I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. Like you'll get an idea right, if you are confused. About 5k minus then other total uh, kh, then plus 1. If you apply it, you're going to get a value what this one as well as this. This complete term will be 0. Like 5k plus 1. 5k plus 1 is what you're getting from here. Good. Now what? Now your arches. Arch. No limit x tending to 5 plus f of x that is equal to limit h tending to 0 f of which is the point 5. So 5 plus h. Right side anything you know. So this is the point over here, which is very close to close by your 5 onto the right side. So 5 plus h. That is equal to limit k tending to 0. Pin and the other function when x is greater than 5. So this will be the function. So 3 into x in the other than 5 plus h minus 5. That will be equal to limit h tending to 0. I will be getting like 15 plus plus right. Yeah, 3h minus 5. And when you apply the limits, and what I am getting is 15 minus 5 gonna be 10 so you are having 5k plus 1 the other one is 10 and if you want to find f of if you want to I am not particular with it because from here these two things could be solved and I can find the value of k right and if you want to and if someone is going for f of 5 you can do like this f of 5 is equal to what is it okay this for particular function here function the number and the application on 5 application so it will be 5k plus 1 so are you getting the same thing here this one and this one and this will be same as you know it is continuous so if it is continuous so the function is continuous or so function is continuous at which point x is equal to 5 okay what I can write I can write that limit x tending to 5 minus or at 5 any anything you can take 5 of x is equal to limit x tending to 5 plus f of x right and so I can again write here that imply that gives me what what is 5 minus that is gonna be 5k plus 1 that is equal to here yeah, 10 so from here 5k is equal to 1 will go there that will be 10 minus 1 so it will be 9 so k will be 9 by Five. So nine by five is the answer for your twenty-ninth question. Find it. Okay. Then go to the thirtieth. Then on to thirtieth question. Find the value of a and b such that the function defined by f of x five if x is less than less than or equal to two, a x plus b if it is between two and ten, then twenty-one if it is greater than or equal to ten find there so we have two points where we need to we need to just discuss about one is 2 the other one is 10 and point learn number no candle if it if x is less than 2 then what is the value here it is 5 yeah if it is between 2 and 10 then it's gonna be like ax plus b yeah then if it is greater than 10 or equal to 10, uh, equal to then it is going to be 20 okay fine i'm going to check here fine uh, at 2 at 
x is equal to 2 will find now your limit your left hand limit would be will be what limit extending to extending to what 2 minus f of x that is equal to limit h tending to 0 hmm? h tending to 0 f of 2 minus h yeah. a point onto the left side of 2 2 minus h so now what now that is equal to limit h tending to 0 less than 2 lane than a function it is 5 right so you don't have anything else to do that's the answer 5 5 if in that case you what would be your RHL limit x tending to 2 plus f of x is equal to limit h tending to 0 f of 2 plus h f of 2 plus h right 2 plus h that will give you that is equal to limit h tending to 0 and this will um, now 2 x is greater than 2 so it will be this particular function here where a into x in a salata 2 plus h 2 plus h plus b fine okay that's it so that is equal to when you apply limit and multiply uh, multiply inside and apply the limit it will be 2a plus b now ready 2a plus b now as you know that the value of a and b and it is continuous on the parent end right? the continuous on the parent end in that case what i can write here 2a plus b is equal to phi and the parent any equation get fine this is equation number 1 these two limits are same so this is what i am getting now at point 10 or at x is equal to 10 left hand limit to limit x tending to 10 minus f of x is equal to limit h tending to 0 f of 10 minus h about less than less than another function it's gonna be ax plus b so in that case it will be limit h tending to 0 and this will be substituted over there that will be 2a into x a bar 10 minus h plus b fine so when you multiply inside and uh, apply the limit it will be 10a plus b 10a plus b fine in your arches arch limit x tending to 10 plus f of x actually normally there is an shell of here we have already have the value but say for exam say for writing all these things like if they are asked to write it okay you can write all these steps otherwise you can here itself you can write okay this is equal to 21 it is a matter f of x that is equal to limit h tending to 0 f of 10 plus h that is equal to limit h tending to 0 and greater than 10 obviously it is gonna be 21 right the equation and the since this is continuous 10a plus b is equal to 21 so this is your equation number 2 now you have run the equation on the 2a plus b is equal to 5 the other one is 10a plus b is equal to 21 now you can solve this one like engine or not solve here like uh, substitution method or elimination like if you have subtract you know either uh, one and two subtract you know one minus two so this will be two minus ten is gonna be minus eight a with cancel out five minus twenty one is minus sixteen so a is equal to 
16 minus 16 divided by minus 8. It's 2. So a and k 2 with it. Fine. Then substitute in any one of the equation. You will get what? B. B is equal to, depending on your equation, B is equal to 5 minus 2a. A I already know. 5 minus 2a is 4. So what is the value of B? Is 1. So the ultimate answer what I am getting over here for A and B is A is 2 and B is 1. So this is my answer for question number 30th. Fine. Now 31st. 30th question. Show that the function defined by f of x is equal to cos x square is a continuous function. And then show you. What is it? f of x is equal to cos x square or continuous function and we will prove it. Ok fine, we have a composite function continuous in the introduction if you have not seen that just uh, ok I will just be brief of it. If I suppose a random function on the f on the g on the random one the real function now, I don't know how far you know like what is the real function. Eppel umke kaaran the real function, real function. Real function which is uh, the functions which have real uh, values in the domain and range. No uh, chinyal, namla x and y axis redutthu inyinyal, this is actually your domain, right? And this is your range. Apo, avada namakka specific ketola values kamakka kitto nondangil, adhi nana namla parayana real function anu parayana. Now, f and g are a real function. Okay? f and g are a real function. And at c, at c is a point. At c is a point. I will tell If g is or g of x is continuous at c is a point g of x continues on angle ok continues on angle f of g of x f of g of x adam continues on angle ok adam continues on angle ok then continues at g of c continues at g of c and we can see that we can see uh, g of x g of x on the channel c will continues on angle then that value with c okay g of c will f g of x on the function continues on angle what i can write is that and if you cannot just go back refer the video come back again and do it and this is uh, like while you do it you will get an idea here otherwise okay then fog of x is equal to hmm, in the channel is also is also continuous at c idinayana nammal parayunnathu fog of fog of x ennu parayunnathu ennu parayya idana idum continuous at c aanu nanu nammal padikkunnathu allengil padichathu appo angane aanengil ipo rendu functions ipo ivide namukku rendu function aayittu idine edikkude split cheyittu onnu nu vachinjal um, I'm just writing like okay, p of x in the chinyal cos x. Okay, if I suppose in the q of x is equal to x square. Fine, you can this function anything which one. Namakariam cos and or another like this way. Is it continuous? Yes, it is continuous. Right, all the element like whatever the value is. It's gonna be continuous, and here x square is also continuous. But now we can carry on. Now we can even do some continuous on our own. Just keep that one in your mind. Okay. <clears throat> now q of x is continuous at any point of x. Where x is what is an element of real. Uh, real function, no? like, like real numbers. Either x or either value of x or q of x continues on. And if p of x is continuous at any point 
of qfx where x is an element of r again yeah and then angle like from here what you can write p of um, fog of x and the chandan fog of x is nothing but cos and the x in a pair q of x and actually e fog and the chin fog of x and the chandan p of q of x and the p of q of x and the other one cos x in a pair x square and the so either random continuous are on the deal what i can say this function is also continuous continuous at any point x fine 30 second question show that the function defined by f of x is equal to modulus of cos x is a continuous function here. now all these questions e, e last kada kada questions ella mandu to composite function na uh which it are which it is and the questions are fine but f of x and then f of x is equal to modulus of cos x alle modulus of cos x ibide namak adey pole namak split cheyan vendi pattum rendu ait onnu nammal idine nammal ipo njan ipo idine p of x is equal to njan ivide endu veli kadakkunnathu njan eduthu that is modulus of x alle modulus of x ennittu agathu varunnana nammal ഇപ്പൊ ഞാൻ എഴുതുന്നത് ക്യു ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഇക്വൽ ടു കോസ് എക്സ് അപ്പൊ എനിക്ക് രണ്ട് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ എഴുതിയല്ലോ ഇനി ഇത് രണ്ടും ഞാൻ നോക്കിക്കഴിഞ്ഞ് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഓൾറെഡി കോസ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞത് ഞാൻ നേരത്തെ ഒക്കെ ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഓൾ കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് അറ്റ് എനി പോയിന്റ് ഏതൊരു പോയിന്റ് നോക്കിയാലും കോസ് എക്സ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് ആയിരിക്കും ഫൈൻ മോഡലസ് നമ്മൾ നേരത്തെ പഠിച്ചു മോഡലസ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഓൾവേസ് കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് മോഡുലസ് വരുന്ന എല്ലാം കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് ആണ് അപ്പൊ ഞാൻ നേരത്തെ പറഞ്ഞ പോലെ സെയിം കൺസെപ്റ്റ് ഹിയർ വി ക്യാൻ യൂസ് ഇറ്റ് എന്താണ് നമ്മൾ ഇവിടെ പി ഓഫ് ഇപ്പൊ നമുക്ക് ഫോക്ക് ഓഫ് എക്സ് എന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ എന്താണ് ഇവിടെ എഴുതാൻ പറ്റുക ഫോക്ക് ഓഫ് എക്സ് എന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നത്തിങ് ബട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഹിയർ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് പി ഓഫ് ക്യു ഓഫ് എക്സ് അല്ലേ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് യുവർ ഫോക്ക് ഫോക്ക് ഓഫ് എക്സ് എന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ പി ഓഫ് ക്യു ഓഫ് എക്സ് എന്നാണ് അതെന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ ഇൻറ്റേൺ ഫോക്ക് ഇസ് ഫോക്ക് ലൈക്ക് p of q of x and what is it this is your modulus of uh, mod cos x idu nu vechinal nammala f of x thaniyana fine idu namukku engane eduthan nu vechinal the same concept here yeah. nammala endu eduthan namukku ivide q of x is continuous at any value of x an element of real numbers either value number q of x which is our cos which are continuous in always right and p of x is continuous at any value of q of x where x is actually an element of r an angle okay for q of x nu parayanadu x in uh, at any point le continuous an angle and p of x is q of x is any point le continuous an angle and p of x is continuous at q of x an angle namak endha endu edam which gives me what fog of x is what fog of uh, x is nothing but p of q of x which is fog nammal nerthe parannittundu fog of x annu cha is also also continuous at x point here so this is what um, you this is how you need to do it in fact over here p of q of x annu cheyal it is nothing but f of x so f of x is continuous at any point fine that is your 36 32nd question then 33 question number 33 uh, examine that sin uh, mod x is a continuous function but suppose yani pe eduvana ipam f of x is equal to what sin mod x aanu nundengil 
here is just uh, examine GMD Chuchi. Fine. Ipam, it's also the same concept here. Composite function pole than every day. If then the kind of function varia, when you are split the I would go for like P of X is your sin X and your Q of X is nothing but your uh, your mod X. Fine. In your number, done that number split the and it's again the same concept here like what is your uh, like fog of okay okay what is this one p of q of x and chanda nothing but your fog of x right fog of x and number p of q of x and chanda that is nothing but number sign sign and x in a salatu number mod x fine up in up in your the continuity to guide in parayan angle Namakariam P of X sin sin and chinan again it is continuous at all the points. Modulus value again modulus is continuous. Kanarachan param modulus value is continuous. Fine. And number core core problems number change it and I know. Like uh in the last problem on the modulus I can full full length and change the gun chair. Fine. Okay. Even a continuous on number chill. Fine. Anything done. Uh, we have to step the step of 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 the of the of of x is continuous at any value of q of x where x is an element of r okay and angle okay then what you can say is your fog of fog of x is also continuous continuous at that point x find it now it will be fine I'm going to fog x and fog x is nothing but your sine mod x is also continuous. Fine. That is how you do this one. So it's a very simple uh, like question here which has been logically asked. Uh, not uh, that much been asked for the exam. Board exam not going to Like then that's it. Okay. 34th question. 34th question. Find all the points of discontinuity of f defined by f of x is equal to modulus of x. Okay, f of x and that is mod of x minus mod of x plus one. X plus one. Find all the continuity. If we have already concluded because we have already seen this one function like modulus of x one, the first one is continuous modulus of the second one which is x modulus of x plus one that is also continuous f is continuous minus g is continuous so whatever you are getting that is also continuous fine and the property then end okay but as i have told you that this is like like the last problem so i just want to uh, just get you a clear idea about like about the, about the modulus here. that's what Okay, modulus of the clear idea picture that I am going to do. Now, the modulus value is not going to be done. We will split the split. We will do it. F of x. Okay, now, suppose f of x is a function. Now, h of x. Okay. Okay, make it p of x. Okay, minus q of x. That is what P of x any continuous on the parano, Q of x any continuous on the parano. I'm carrying them already modulus and the function and the signal continuous on the area. Okay, but still, like I just want to solve it uh, because that's your last modulus, last question there. That's why. Right. Now, P of x in a number of the material, it can be splitted like this because it's modulus. I can split like minus x if x is less than zero okay minus x i think if it is less than zero 
at zero level, this value would be zero at x is equal to zero. Okay, and x if x is greater than zero. इंगेन आयते मून आयते इनके इर्दा में डिपेंड. Fine. अंगने आना नॉन ना गिले. नमले पर चेक की चीज़ ओके. लेपा at zero ले. नमले कंटिन्यूटी ले नमले चेक की आना नॉन ना गिले. Like इधर मॉडल सेंडर जान की इंगेन स्प्लिट चेज़ बटर ना. इंगेन इंदर ना स्प्लिट चेज़ इधर नोची नाल. इधर less than all the values which is less than zero. नोची नाल less than zero नो चाहिए था zero ना minus one minus two इधर नमक modulus इन्द answer नमक का कितना कितना है modulus of x नो चाहिए ना always एक positive number अल्ले नमक कितना है अपो इवर negative two आना without the modulus इवर negative two आना वैरिना नो नंगील I will get a negative value अशे इवर modulus नागतानो वैरिना नो नंगील what I will be getting I'll be getting positive two so the concept here is adding a minus onto that x which is which all for all those values which x is less than zero, like, अंगने आना गिल, like I can like in a very fast way, यानि पम यानि पे इधर apply चेदो इन्हीं नल, x is equal to zero minus f of p of x, p of x is equal to limit h tending to zero, p of x this point will be like zero minus h Yes, and if you apply on this one here, I'm gonna get what limit h tending to zero minus x in the cell minus h. So when you apply it, you're gonna get a zero. Already, we have already done f of zero. Then that value is zero. Then this is your left hand, okay? And whereas your right hand limit limit x tending to zero plus f of x. Is equal to limit h tending to zero uh, p of x. Sorry, p of x, p of zero plus h. That's equal to limit h tending to zero. Same place like greater than zero. Okay, when x is greater than so x in here, so it will be h itself. And when you apply it, it's again gonna be zero. So all three are same. So it is. Continuous. So you need to write all these steps if you just if you go for that. Okay. So this is how it is. Okay. अपो अधे पोला दिंगा कु मॉडलस ऑफ x plus one चेंज इन इंडिया यू विल आल्सो गेट इट एस दैट टू कंटिन्यूस एट इट. So as we have already discussed that नमक इपम f of x कंटिन्यूस आना. अलग f of x कंटिन्यूस आना के g of x also continues on a normal angle then f of x minus g of x is also continuous on the number that the property participant so this one you don't need to prove it like find all the all the points of discontinuity right that is what they are asked for you would I even continues on a room continues on so it is continuous everywhere right in all the points in in all the values of x this function is continuous so we can write that okay for for all the value of x okay uh, in element r the function or uh, function modulus x minus x plus 1 is continuous okay so there we cannot see any any point of discontinuity because both are continuous upon subtracting them it's gonna be the same here you're gonna get it continues always modulus function always continuous because we can draw it without without lifting your pen so it is always continuous so uh, we start off with uh, continuity in this chapter, basically continuity is an idea that I have to do, a full length idea. I told you like as this exercise is too lengthy there. So questions are going to be mainly continuity there. Continuous is not going to be able to do the questions in the board exam. If you have any questions, find the value. That is why we have to do the value of k in the value. So if you have any questions, you will have to do the value. If you have a value, you can contribute to the value of lambda. If you have a 
അങ്ങനെയൊക്കെയാണ് കൂടുതൽ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ചോദിക്കുന്നത് സോ മേക്ക് ഷുവർ ദാറ്റ് യു പ്രാക്ടീസ് ദോസ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് വെൽ ഓക്കെ എന്നിട്ട് ദെൻ ഓൾ ദി അതർ തിങ്സ് വി ഹാവ് കവേഡ് ഇൻ ദ എക്സസൈസ് so next topic is uh, also very important here concept wise you need to know the concept um then your differentiations okay differentiation questions the other questions here so uh, ultimately what i want to tell you is that uh, basically idu nan keralathilulla aalkarkku vendi undaakiyadanu nammala students vendi undaakiyadanu appo i think like uh, you guys will like this one and to do follow me do follow me and as well as like uh, hit that bell, bell icon so that you will get all the notifications and, and one more important thing uh, just play it from the playlist there and the channel le poi to playlist thing alengil like whenever you get that like do try to play it from the playlist appo oru video kanjittu adutha video adanu nalla oru continuity kittum like endha vachu nu cheyyal oru video click cheyidu nja adutha video edu evada kadakkunnu nalla oru confusion varu so if you are doing from the playlist Uh, it will be good that like you will get a series of all these videos fine apo this was my first exercise like 5.1 and i have told you that i will be there throughout your entire year this time and first nani calculus enna thodangiya karanam nu cheyyal idu korche korche time consuming ana as well as like it carries 44 marks that's the only reason that i start off with that other chapters and all like you 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 quick we can finish it fine okay so do comment me in my uh, in uh, below so that um, any any your or your pulse are yamendi pattern students and then what they expect from me and what all doubts you have it just uh, drop it down there so see you in the next section must watch it okay see you down there bye